Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. Imagine yourself walking down the aisle with the great prince of Eziama towards the priests <laughs> for a marriage vow. Really? Um, I can't imagine that. Why not? <laughs> Won't you want to be married to the great prince of Eziama kingdom? Let's forget about that. You know it is not possible. She will not done walking down the aisle with your numerous girlfriends and many more girls that wish they would date you. <laughs> Me? No. No, that's a sad comment about me. <sighs> I'm sad. So sad. I did not mean it that way. Hold on. Come on. Alright, there we go. Come on in. Sure. Uh, okay. There we go. So, um, what's I offer you what you want to eat. What you want to eat. This is what you are going to do. You say what you want and you have it. I can't say anything here. What is it? The question is what would you want to drink or eat? Listen, I have a job. I have a job. I Time I... I actually tricked you into this place. Do you know why? Because you know, I got here sometimes when I see you on the road, I imagine and wonder how it would be and what it would look like when we are. And I couldn't walk. <laughs> what? Listen, for some time I've been watching you. Mm -hmm. I. Like, well, yeah, well, uh, uh, yeah, wouldn't you want to go down with the great prince of his market? You must be out of your mind. Nonsense. What? Are you talking to the great prince of his kingdom? Huh? Really? God, I can't, my friend. Are you mad? Huh? Ah! Mr. 
You mean you will leave your traditional seat as the only one of this kingdom and contest for the governorship position? Yeah? <laughs> but that is where the money is. Or uh, shall we leave politics for Riv Raffs and um, all these uh, rabble rousers? Oh, don't, don't make me laugh. <laughs> hey, hello. <laughs> Ivan Ebudu, excuse me. Hello? Oh, Daddy. How's your car? Daddy, I'm in trouble. In trouble? How? What is it? Where are you? I'm in the palace. You are in this palace? And you are in trouble? No, no, no. Okay. He brought me to this room. He raped me. He raped me, Daddy. I'm in this room. I can't come out. Okay. Uh, Lola will be attending to you quickly. Okay, stay where you are. Huh? <laughs> Highness, Udeze lured my daughter to his room, tore her clothes, and raped her. What? In this palace? Can you imagine that? Ah, <sighs> Lord have mercy. I'm going there right away. I will attend to God. Get to that letter. Where is she? She's in the desert soon. has been promising to introduce me to the manager of the soft drink table. I saw him today and he told me that he had invited him to the palace, so I followed him down here. Wait a minute. That's it. Are you trying to tell me that both of you did not come here to have fun on a mutual agreement? Why are you making it sound as if you are the victim here? Is the bedroom where official meetings are held? Is it? Your Majesty, you were surprised when you brought me here. When we came, I asked him where the manager is. He told me that I was really imagining how it would feel like to, to have fun with me. But then we realized that he was lying. I wanted to run out. He grabbed me and started something. Oh, really? Why didn't you scream? If Udeze promised to give you money to sleep with you, and after sleeping with you, 
he failed to fulfill his promise. It's a different ball game. I will give you the money. What I don't like is telling lies that will desecrate you. Why do you need to shout or even scream? Why? Your Majesty, I'm not I realized that he tricked me. I wanted to run out. He grabbed me instead of hitting me. I. I. I remember I, I passed out and I only regained consciousness. He was. He actually. Will you shut up? What I don't like is people telling lies about others. <laughs> Why those tears stand? Your Highness, I'm not happy at all. I am so sorry. Forgive me. My son's sin is my sin. I take responsibility for it. Please. I am on my knees. It's okay, okay, Your Highness. You are the embodiment of our community. Ora zelo funyo yeri jamwe. Mano funyo zelo ora fala chapia. However you were, this your son, Udeze, he has manifested this act of atrocities since childhood. And you and Lola have hampered him just because he's the heir apparent, the successor to the throne. Which I get here. Oh no, what color is this? Do you? Sorry. So sorry. It's okay, it's okay. Oh no, what color is this? There's no problem. Um, it's just a little misunderstanding and uh, I have talked to Azoka. Um, meanwhile, let us, as parents, guide our children very well. Let us tell them to be contented with what we, the parents, give them. Instead of following boys that have money. Huh? Excuse me, Your Highness. Are you implying that I didn't train my child very well? What? I'm oh, sorry, my dear. So sorry. Okay? Yes, so sorry. Your Highness, this attitude of your son is unbecoming of a successor to the job. Thank you. Let's go. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, no. Okay, Are you crying? Nay, what happened? 
It's Udeze. He lured her to the palace and raped her. Hey! Tore her clothes. Yeah. Chimu! She's wearing the dress, you know, that belongs to one of the palace. Hey! Yes. Yeah. Mother. Can you imagine that? The Lolo wanted me to accept that I am guilty. Hey! She even wanted to offer me money. So it looked like it was a mutual consent. Can you imagine Beatrice? Hey. Implying that we didn't tell our children well. Can you imagine Beatrice? Beatrice said that. I'm telling you. Comparing my daughter with that stupid, arrogant son of hers. Hey! Azuka and Udez, who is better brought up? Hey! Who do I blame? Who do I blame for this rubbish? Uh, take her to the clinic and let the doctor take care of her. If not for the respect I have for the throne of our forefathers, if not for the respect I have for Igwe Francis Modebe, a nice gentleman, I would have taught some people lesson. They can't imagine what I, Ono Wokalestis Onyebuna, would have taught them some lessons. But nobody destroys his own. Nobody destroys or kills a person who will fund his funeral. Udeze. Udeze. Do you know that in trying to defend your son, you insulted the person of a noble? Your Highness, I did not insult a noble. I only tried to advise him to talk to the young girls so that they will stop following men that flashes money at them. That statement was misdirected to a man like a noble he is a disciplined and straightforward man who brought up his children well, unlike us who failed in that regard. By the way, where is that rapist you called a son? He hasn't come back since then. Please. That is why I keep on warning you that you are spoiling that boy. But what did you tell me? That I should be patient. That he will overgrow it. Now tell me what do we have? A rapist. A rapist! Your Highness, you're right. But then in this issue, we don't need to blame him. Let us solve the matter at hand first. Let us look for a way to apologize to Unowu. Your Highness, it is better to chase away the hawk before blaming the chick. Exactly what I am saying. We have been chasing away the hawk without blaming the chick. I'm sure 
you understand the weight of what Ono said. The people will not have a rapist, a street fighter, a drunkard as their king or one that will send their forefathers throne. Please, your highness, don't talk like that. It looks as if you're supporting you know. Our son will succeed you when you are gone. Rezo, where were you when my son was attacking the poor girl? Your Majesty, we all came back together and they entered the house. So I thought they are either in the palace or one of the private palace upstairs. It only came to my notice when he called me. My friend, why do you think I approve your being hired as his bodyguard and driver? Is it not to prevent such atrocity? Why are you beginning to think that you are not capable for this job? And you listen to me. Next time such atrocity will happen, I will fire you. Do I make myself clear? Just get out of my sight right now. Get out! I'm sorry. Igwe, that Onowu's statement is not ordinary. It is weighty. Now, oh, you are beginning to talk like a woman with a sense of steel. In case you don't know, if anything happened to me today, Onowu Kalistus has the power to stop our sons from becoming the next ego of this kingdom. No. No, your highness. Your Highness, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Greetings. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, this. And your beautiful wife, Mercy. I hope I met you in peace. Okay. Can we go inside? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'll do that when next I come on a social visit. But for now, I came to see my daughter and know how she is doing. How is she? Well, she's okay. She just stepped out to a school friend of hers. That is Oh, that is very nice. It is good to note that she is up and about. I also came to apologize for my son's behalf and to tell you that he has been sincerely Oh, no, this is a hundred thousand years. I want you to go to and take care of it. Well, Your Majesty, thank you very much. It's not necessary. You shouldn't have gone to this extent. Hmm? Uh, I've treated my daughter. Of course, she's my daughter. And she's okay. Hmm? No, oh, no, you're getting it all wrong. 
just giving you this money to show you how truly sorry I am. Take it. Oh, Majesty, please. You can keep the money for other victims of the days that may not be able to treat their child. We may be poor, but we can take care of our own. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. All right. No sense. No matter what they do to cover that boy's madness, you never be a success. Oh well. Oh yeah, Janya. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Your Majesty. Ah, please, who am I talking with? I don't recall seeing this number on my phone. It's me. Doris, you living in the US. Oh, Doris! How are you? Wait a minute. This is Nigerian number you're calling me with. Are you in Nigeria? Yes, I am. I came back two nights ago. Oh, in that case, I'm not happy with you. You came back since two days ago and you're just calling me now. Oh, please, I'm sorry. Um... We had issues with our luggage, and that's what has uh, taken our day all day yesterday. So, please, sorry. What about your kindness? Oh, he is fine. And how is Francis? I know he must be a big man by now. Oh, he's fine. He came back with me. He's inside. Oh, that's good. And in that case, um, I will send the driver tomorrow to come and pick you guys for lunch. I hope tomorrow will be okay for you. Oh, that would be nice, Your Majesty. Oh, cut out that Majesty thing. Well, would one o'clock be okay? Um, yes, one o'clock it is then. See you then, see you tomorrow. Bye. I'll oh, see you tomorrow, dear. Bye. Wow! Your Highness, do you know who called me? Who? Doris just called. Oh, really? Yes! <laughs> that is nice. <laughs> they are in Nigeria. Oh, really? Yes. That's nice. It's been a while. Uh, is she coming to visit us? Yes. Uh, it's over 50 years since she last came home with my godson. Exactly. <laughs> yes, I think it's over 15 years. Yes. Hmm. This is good. I, are you inviting them for lunch? Yes. Oh, <laughs> that reminds me. Let me quickly tell them in the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> Your Majesty. Yes, I'm, I'm happy. coming. I'm happy too. Um, yes. situation in the palace. Boss, the matter has not died down. Everywhere is still hot. My fear now is that my job is at stake. Your mother said I shouldn't have allowed you to do it. Is that all? Boss, you need to see how angry Ono was that day. If not because of the respect that he has for his royal highness. He would have had your head on a platter of gold. My friend, quiet. Listen, I, I can handle all that. It's not a problem. I don't know why you're shaking. Huh? Wokara, Majiji. 
You understand? Listen to me, Udeze is a jungle. And like a jungle, I am meaner than mean and better than bad. I go out here, I go on. But right. you need to clear this mess. Yeah, I know. Clear this mess. I know. Let us go. Let's get into the palace. Sorry, please forgive me. Forgive me, Pico. Oh, I don't know. Forgive me, Pico. If you don't leave here right now, I will kill you! Good morning, please. Help me beg daddy now. Help me and beg him. I'm not sorry. Mommy, I, I do not know what is what is wrong with me. Is there anything wrong with you? Mom, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I don't know what. There's something that is happening to me. You know, the thing will be pushing me, pushing me around to do what I do not want to do. And when the thing has succeeded in pushing me, after doing it, I'll begin to regret everything. Mom, do you know that yesterday after doing that, do you know where I ended up? I slept in the church. Church? Mom, and when the pastor saw me, the pastor came and he said I need deliverance. I said it. I knew it. He said I should come for deliverance, that I need spiritual help. I know that what is happening to our son is not ordinary. That someone is behind it. So my dear son, um, how did the pastor intend to help you out? He said that I should... Yeah, hey, this, this... Only a gullible mind like that of your mother's that you can deceive with your antics. Okay, fine. You need help, right? I will get my gun and kill him! I can't, Your Highness. Please, don't do this. This has not gotten to that. You know he's our only son. Why are you treating him like this? Yeah? Oh, thank God that uh, a solution has been found for his problem. Do you now see that you are Udeze's problem? You are part of his problem because you always run to his defense. Whenever he commits offense and is about to be disciplined. Let me kill him! No, 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 your highness. Please, don't kill him. He's my only son. If you kill him, I will be childless. God forbid. What will people say? Hi. No, I Beatrice, saw. it's so sad that you are Odessa's biggest problem. Oh. I am not exonerated because 
I have always been easily swayed by you. I have refused to take stern decisions when it comes to discipline him. In his time, he commits atrocities. Did you what is it? Lunch is safe. Okay. Thank you. Hey, hey, Your Highness, sorry. You had a visitor. She said her name is Lady Doris. And she came with her son, Mr. Francis. I kept them in the city, in the Fine. Make them comfortable. We'll soon be with them. Okay. Your Highness, I will. Let us try and put up a cheerful face and put everything behind us. Because of our visitors. We will discuss it later. And you. Thank you, sir. And you. I want you to put up a cheerful face. Okay? You go and change into something good so that it will look good for our visitors. Mm -hmm. Put up a smiling face. <laughs> and make sure you follow up the deliverance, okay? okay. Put up a smiling face. I very well. <laughs> you eh? Thank you, Take it, Okay. Oh, my God. I told you. I told you I know how to handle my father. So long as my mother is there, I can do anything I want to do, get away with anything I want to get away with. Listen, I should be doing Nollywood film. Yeah, because you needed to see my performance. It was on cloud of nine. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? Boss, can you see? But his Ono is daughter. Who, 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 who is Ono? Ono, does he have a son name? Ono Wongwe Shu. Who is Ono when my father is still here? When my father is the king, I mean the great king of his Yama, you know, it's me a Jebo. Eh? No, Wongwe Shu, rap when Alan Akwe Alia Chonko in. I want to add in your name. He's Ono, because none of you are in Ono. Hello? All right. Don't forget about oh, no. The matter has been said, taken care of. You, you understand? Meanwhile, um, we have an important guest. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me join them, and then I will take my man Francis out later. Mago, there has you know, spoil him a little. So see you later, boy. Mm -hmm. Rest up. Keep your eyes on the floor. On your car, daddy, the power. Mm -hmm. I'll see you soon. All right. <laughs> Nollywood actor. Ah, uh, yeah. I used to have a friend all day. I'm calling. So, how long are you staying this time, Doris? I don't know for now, but uh, my plan is to get classes settled and also acculturated to Nigeria. <laughs> That's great. Be a that will not be a problem at all. Yes. <laughs> because Udeze is on ground to show him around. No, 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 no. no. Udeze would not show him around because I don't want him to influence him wrongly. Oh, there you go. Ah, yeah, wow. <laughs> Welcome, brother. Ah, I'm good. Look at you, man. Look at you. Hey, hey. 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 I'm good. Wow, you're such a big boy and also a gentleman. Well, you organize it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My brother, man. Wow. Nice to see you, man. Of course. <laughs> so, you guys have been talking. Of 
course, on a Kumasi level. Last time he came back like 10 years ago. Uh, yes, yeah, so we'll be communicating on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. You know, he's been keeping me up to date happening in Nigeria. Well, yes. Yeah, Is that no way? Yeah, no way. <laughs> Can you imagine? Francis, man. I am always the last to know anything. <laughs> but that was very nice. That is very nice. Um, do you know that when you guys were very young, before you traveled overseas, people used to think that you were cousins. <laughs> I know, right? Um, please, let us all proceed to the dining. The food is getting good. Let's go and eat. Please. Rod looks good on you. <laughs> no, you don't have to thank me. Doris, we've come a long way. Thank you, Francis. Oh, your majesty. <laughs> Look, you don't have to apologize. My name is Francis. Look, you knew me when I never knew I would be the ego of my people. My dear, it's nice to have you back. Same here, same here. And you too. Oh. Hey, Doris. Doris? Yes, yeah, she said she called you and your phone was switched off. Doris called? Yes. Oh, my phone is not switched off. Yeah. Oh my God. Four missed calls already. I'll call her back later. Oh. Sorry. And um, where are they staying? In a hotel. And that brings me to what I have been meaning to discuss with you, Your Highness. Mm -hmm. I think. We should help her by bringing her to stay with us in this house. Mm. Yes, instead of paying all that for their bills. I think you're right. Yes. Uh, because if she exhausts her money paying hotel bills, it is us that was still going to bail her out. Exactly. Why wait till then? We have enough rooms to accommodate she and her son in their house. Exactly. Why not? Oh, thank you, Your Highness. <laughs> That's why I love you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> you don't have to worry. She's our guest.
idea of hospitality. You guys are doing wonderfully well. Thank you, sir. And but please, your compliments should go to His Highness and Her Majesty. Yeah, I can say the good heart of my godfather written all over your smile. And you're beautiful too. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank so what's the name? My name is Obianiju. Obianiju Mwa. Um, you can call me Uju. Uju. Cool. Hello. What's it, man? My brother, man. How are you settling in? Well, I'm trying and I'm really doing my best and I'm here. Uju here has been helpful to me. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, I'll take my leave now. If you need anything, please call me. Okay. Thank you. 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 She, she, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, so um, as a matter of fact, I've lined up some chicala suitable for you. So settle a little, then I'll take you out, paint the town red. I'm not gonna kill you, man. You didn't eat it, you know. You see, when you get a swami and you go, when you go, you do not tell that you lay around the kid, but now, so you know, you are what is it, you know, this. You understand what I say? <laughs> <laughs> so one day we'll go outside, you know, I'll have some chicks lined up for you. You know, some people of an acarism, man. You know? And then point and kill, you know, on where you point. Warriors. I mean you there's a there's a jungle and that the meaner than mean and better than bad. Shh. My brother man. Oh yeah now. Certainly. I know you are if I say I have enough words to express my gratitude for all you and your husband have done for me, then I'll be lying. Oh, thank you. Thank you for everything you have done for me. Doris, must you continue thanking me? If you were in the same position, you would have done the same thing, if not more. Okay, remember, when I couldn't conceive, I almost committed suicide were it not for you. <laughs> You're welcome, ma. <laughs> Let's go inside. Ma, let's go inside now. Where is Francis, my son? My husband, he, he went out. What of Junior? I mean Junior, my grandson. Tell him to come and take the biscuit I bought for him. Or rather, you take it to him. You see, Mama, you know there is no junior in this house. And it is not my fault. Whose fault? Mine. Each time I am coming here, I always buy something on instinct, which means there should be a child here. If I may ask, why do you think you were married into this family. Mama, 
I got married to Francis? Because we love ourselves. No wonder. No wonder you've not given us a child. You think you are here to do love? Now, get inside that house. Pack your things. Go back to your father's house and do love there. I said, go inside. Go inside. Go inside or I do it myself. I said, go inside. I don't have any family. Please don't do this to you, Mama. Please don't do this to you, Mama. Go inside. Go inside. And I've been waiting for you since then. You're welcome. I hope all is well. Uh, have you eaten? And uh, why are you doing this all by yourself? Where is my wife? Um, is she in? Um, Beatrice! Honey! She's honey! She's gone. She's what? Gone where? She's gone because I sent her away. Ah, mama. Ah! The moment I saw you, I knew there would be trouble. Listen carefully to me, Francis. It seems you don't know what the time is saying. I will tell you. Your father is dying. And if he dies today, you are the next successor to the throne of Ezeama Kingdom. Listen. The kingmakers are looking for alternative because there is no sign from you that you can perpetuate your father's lineage. They are considering your stepbrother. Mama, Mama, we are doing our best. There's nothing wrong with either of us. Mama, in no time, we will give you as many children as you want, boys and girls. You don't have that time at your disposal anymore. That is why I sent her away. Let's look for a woman that can give us a child. Just get used to that. Because I am making arrangements for a young, fertile girl that you can marry. Let us be. Look, Mama. What? I found pink. I am not even interested in becoming the ego of, of my people. What? Yes. Francis. Leave us alone. What did you just say? Mama, Francis. leave us alone. Francis. Look at this boy. Francis, where have you been since morning? I've been looking for you. You didn't even check up on me when you came back. What, Mama? I went out there to look for my wife. My beautiful wife. My dear wife. I went to her house. And I was told that they have not seen her. I just hope nothing terrible happened to her. Happened to her. 
Hi. Good morning, Mama. Good morning, my daughter. Francis. What about Beatrice? We were supposed to see yesterday, but she didn't turn up. So I decided to come and check on her to know what is happening. I hope she's fine. She's in my house soon. You can come and see her. trying to get my mother back to my father. Believe me, tomorrow she will leave. Uh, my annual leave will soon finish and we will go back to the city. But in the meantime, I am engaging my mother on this matter. Yes. Thank you, my love. But I'm afraid. Afraid of what? that very soon the royal family will pressurize you to get another wife. Mm. What will be my fate? Just, just, just look at me. A married woman roaming about the whole street like a common thief. And now a refugee. How can you say that? You are not a refugee. That is your friend. Will she mind if you stay in her house? Honey, no. Doris has her own problems. Do you know that Doris is pregnant? Pregnant? Are you sure? I have never seen her with any man. And uh, who is responsible? That, that is the problem. That is just the problem. Doris told me that the man that is responsible for her pregnancy is already married and will never marry her. Of course, you know that her father, being a priest in this village, will disown her the moment he realizes that she is pregnant. She's looking for where to go and deliver so that the father will not know. Um, don't worry. I'll call short my annual leave. I will walk over to the city. Oh, yes. Thank you, my love. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Yes. In the meantime, I will put up with Doris. Yes. Thank you very much. As long oh, as you're I happy, you. I love you. If you had not have bought me in your parents' house, where would I have been? My parents were dead, and I had nobody to run to. You were there for me. You took me in. Thank you very much. Oh, come on, Beatrice. I did what I could under the circumstance. What I did for you is nothing to be compared to what you and your husband have done for me. How did Reverend Lodibe get to know that you are pregnant? I don't know who told him. I made sure that I don't spit or vomit around him. I just don't know how he found out. Francis, Francis, hey, hey, you need to see how her father chased out of the house with a matches. I thought he was going to kill her. Is it that serious? It's very serious. Hey, Francis, what do we do? She doesn't have a home with her pregnancy. I mean, 
I don't have a home with your mother harassing me everywhere. What do we do? <laughs> okay. It's not that bad. <laughs> we go to the city, stay there until I resume work. Because of her. She is our friend. She has been helpful to you this past week. So she will go with us. We will take care of her and the baby. <laughs> Hey, hey, don't do that. Get off. Do you don't have to need to touch me. You're our friend. I'm so grateful. Don't worry. This will be okay. This will be all right, okay? Just stop crying. Hey, he is fast asleep. He has been sleeping since. Chai. Hey, Doris. Ah, you have not told me who the father of this baby is. Who is actually the father? Beatrice, please don't take him. Forget him for now. Please. What do you mean by forget him for now? Do you realize it's this same issue of forgetting for now that made your father cut mad at you? Because you refused to tell him who the father of this baby is. That's why he got mad at you and sent you back in. He's... He's a married man. Uh -huh. And I promise not to destroy his marriage by disclosing his identity. Thomas. Besides, he has left the village back to his hometown. Yeah. I'm going to go to my game. I don't know how to get my money still on there. <laughs> okay. Hey, women. <laughs> How are we? She are fine. How is my big boy doing? Oh, I'm sure you bettered him. <laughs> I hope you bettered him. Yes. Well fed too. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Francis. Yes. Mm. Thank you. you. Mm. Thank you so much for all you have been doing for me. And also thank you for buying so many things for my baby. Stop. <laughs> Stop, Daddy. I can't think what the deal I need for It's <laughs> so okay. Look, give the thanks to God. Exactly. We are doing this. Believing that God will open our womb. Amen. <laughs> oh, amen. I can't it's wait to go. Hey. See, I have spoken to the parish priest about uh, our baby's uh, baptism. Oh, yes, he's ready nice. and he's waiting for us. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh, that is good. Um, talking about the baptism, there is what name do you intend to give him? Do you want to name him after your father? No. Mm. Him Francis. Yeah? Yes. After Francis knew your name. In a Yes. Francis, I want you to be his godfather. Wow. Because Accepted. you have been so good to so me. And I'm a monarch. Accepted. I am honored. <laughs> Thank you. you see, <laughs> Let me stop clapping. Let me stop being awake. <laughs> Without you and your husband, I don't know where I would have been by now. Thank you, my friend. It's okay. We will keep helping each other. Of course we will. After all, we are more than friends. <laughs> yes, more than friends. We are more like sisters now. Um, well, Francis. I hope he likes his room. Oh, we just I took him out to show him around. Wonderful. <laughs> then you and I will equally go out and have fun. Oh, wow, that would be <laughs> nice. <laughs> because I've missed a lot. Exactly.
<laughs> my brother, we are here. Uh, Boss, we are here. Are you stupid? What kind of question is that? Don't you know what you're supposed to do? Idiot. Leave. <laughs> What does he usually do for you? Uh, well, he is supposed to go in there, chase everybody out, you know, every customer will have hits because we are here. <laughs> the yeah. prince of land, the prince of the land is here. Excuse me. Like he will go in there and ask all the customers to leave for you to come in. Uh, listen, I am blue blood. Hmm? The king is here because I am the son of the king, the prince of the land, the, the great prince of Ezema kingdom. So, <laughs> are you expecting me to be in the same building, in the same place with Miss Kranz, hired us? Maybe there are some hired assassins there and they even kidnap us. So, security reasons, you go there, evacuate all of them before we go in. So, don't worry, one them, eh? Uh, Igako. <laughs> I am Udeze. I am the Django. Mina than Mina, I'm better than bad. I go ahead, they are going to, you know? That's all right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> you know? Boss, she is not cooperating. My friends, please. The idea of chasing away all my customers each time you come here is not good. It's killing my business. Those that you chased away the last time you came, they never come back. Right now in there, I have many customers and you expect me to chase them away. No, my friends. Are you out of your senses? No, no, no. Who, who are you talking to? Me or my driver or my boy? Are you speaking to the, the crown prince of Eziama kingdom? Huh? Get that pussy there and repeat. I'm a tice, Nanya. I'm a tice the brain. Silence. Quiet when I'm talking. Are you mad? Who is the owner of the building you're occupying? Who is the owner of the, 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 the space? Do you want me to evacuate you from there? Please, my friends. Look at you. Please. Are you stupid? Do you, do you know? Do you know? I cannot prove to you who owns the space you are occupying. I am the crown prince of the Ziama Kingdom, and my father is the king. Automatically, that space is mine. That building is mine. Are you mad? My friend, it's I'm not going to that. I said, listen to me one more word, and, and I will remove your lashes. Look at you. Are you stupid? Uh, huh? No, no, no. Look, no, look no, at this. You're all right. I am cool with it. Trust me, I'm cool with people in there. You are? Yes, I I, I love hanging out where there are people, beautiful people. All I want is just good music and cool people dancing around. That's all I want. Really? Yes, I'm cool. You are lucky. Can I bet you that Francis does not have any problem with it? Otherwise, or the Waganya Nefia. Otherwise, or Daddy Egisi. Look at this. Stupid you. No, no, no. Go. Go and, and, and prepare my usuals. Thank you, my friends. Right. Come on, leave. Look at that trouser like Bungo. God, God, God. You, can, you can imagine. Oh, hey, Rezo. Get, get into town, eh? You know, I don't want to do pants, pants, onions, onions. You know, get clean girls. Erode, Azoka, Iroka, Asna, Amanyu. Right? We need, we are in. Can you let us entertain my brother? Oh, me too. You understand what I mean? My brother, you are about to have fun. Let's go. You might imagine this non entity. It's alright. Now we they run the town. Now we they hear others day for bush. Hello? You heard when he said I should stay off his business. And that is exactly what I am doing. Staying off his business. Uga, please now. Hey! What kind of trouble is this one now? Hey, I don't want my mom to do this. We did have even convince me to follow him. I even beg my friend to come with me. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I remember the day my father was looking for me. He came looking for me at your house. And I was carrying right behind the door. 
<laughs> he was holding the door. <laughs> I was peeing on my son. Mm. <laughs> and he searched and searched everywhere for you. <laughs> but do you know one surprising thing? He said he saw you enter the house. <laughs> Are you aware about uh, six months into your pregnancy, right? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> That's why I can't stop thinking about you. I always be here for you. That's why I'm so crazy. Oh, my boy. I wonder if I've got been all day. But I'm getting better. I'm seeing. Oh. Yeah, how are you, Francis? Very good. I have not set my eyes on you today. Where have you been? I went out with the baby. We, we went to hang out and also he had to show me some places and also see some people. Wow. So you guys have been having fun? Yeah. Uh, you see, um, I would rather you make your own friends and choose where you hang out differently from the basis. Your Highness, why would you say that? For so many reasons, and you know. But Your Highness... You see, Beatrice, you and I fade where Odessa is. But this one was properly brought up well with good value by Doris. So I wouldn't want him to be influenced by Odessa. Look, my son. Do not allow him to influence you. He is a bad person. He does not respect anyone. And he's wicked. So stay away from him. And I am serious about that. Excuse me. I need to return to my chair. Take care. Isn't that a bit of an attack? It was. And I met it. So, do not have that. Stay clean. Thank you, Godfather. I. Excuse me. What was that all about? Is it fair the way you speak down on Udeze before Francis and his mom? Is it fair? Woman, at my age and status, do you expect me not to say my mind? Or speak my mind? Or do you expect me to speak with my tongue tied to my cheek? Your Highness, it is not fair at all. You have already chastised him enough. Thank God he has decided to go for deliverance. Uh, <laughs> Sin is believing. Until I see the change with my own eyes. Before then. Days is so far away from my mind as a son. Francis. 
How are you? I'm very fine, Mr. Francis. Oh, that's good. How are you doing? I'm fine, man. Very well. Hey, Mr. Francis, you went out to the prince earlier today. I hope you had fun. Oh, uh, yes, I had fresh fish, pepper soup, and uh, mm, bom, bom, bobby. You ate in Kwabi. Yes. Did you prepare it well? Was it nice? Did you like it? <laughs> hey, Mr. Francis. You would have told me that you wanted to eat in Kobe. I would have told the cook to make it for you. Or I'm better still, I would have prepared it myself. You know how to prepare that too. Hey, Mr. Francis, I can prepare even Uba and make for more sauce for yourself. Uba? <laughs> 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 oh, sorry, it's called Uba. Uba? Uba? Okay, it's okay. Called Uba. Uba. <laughs> okay, okay. But, um, Mr. Francis, don't worry. Anytime you need it, just you. It's yeah, alright. It's make okay. It for you. I'll gladly make it for you. It's okay. And I know I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> so you're still working? Uh, yes. I just finished cleaning the passage. I want to go and clean the kitchen. Okay. So uh, let me assist you. Okay. No, ha, Mr. Francis. <laughs> I'm being paid to do my job. Now. Don't bother. That. <laughs> I just want to assist. Hey, no. no, no, don't worry. I, I insist. Okay? Hey, I insist. No, don't worry. Francis, please don't. Francis. I'm going out there. Okay. Yeah. My prince. Okay. This is. What's going on? What's the problem? Nothing. Uh, you know, it was Mr. Francis. He wants to help me to clean the kitchen. I told him that I should not, but that it's my work. It's her job now. That's why they are here. So that they will serve us. Mm. Eh? It's okay. Sorry. It's okay. Go, 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 go. Oh, can I say it's my job? It's my job. And you need to explain to him that it's your job. Okay, so what are you talking about? Me, why? Why did you leave me there? Eh? I, I wasn't having a good chat with that girl. I'm telling you that it was just a one-sided discussion, so I just had to leave. Good chat? Yes. But, but my brother, I will know. Francis, can you even chat him? Eh? Eh? You don't need to chat with anybody. What, eh? On a very capacity level, once you have one-on-one -on -one with somebody, a girl like that, one, if you need a ball again, 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 a ball well, that's what you that's what's up. Oh, you chat. No, you don't expect me to bully the girl now. You want them to arrest my guy. I mean, I can go to jail for that. Why? For boiling her. Well, listen, here, no, rape is not a problem. For me, it's my style. One once I get a girl one-on-one, on one, something. So if the girl was being hard, you know, saying no, 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 you can't do it. When they tear her apart, give you never. Yeah, maybe next time I will uh join you in enjoying that. <laughs> right? Uh, <laughs> That's what oh. I'm talking about. You're my man. man. When uh, you, you left me there, I was worried. It's okay. Next, man, yeah, go, go, go. No, no, next time, next time. I'll join you in. Let's bo get inside. Bo it is what? Bo what? Bo bonya. Bonya. Bo yeah, bonus. Bona, bona. Bona, bona something. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Yeah? Yes, sir. Oh, where are you going to? I'm going to the shopping mall down there, sir. Sir. Who is that? I was greeting you. Are you are referring to me, yes, sir. Would you must be very funny. My name is Francis, if you don't know. You want me to address you as Francis? Ha. No, sir, it's not possible. Please just allow me to address you as Mr. Francis, sir. Uh, so, if you're okay by that, you can still call me whatever you want to call me. And so, can I join you to the mall? No, sir, don't bother yourself, sir. Uh, let me go with it, sir. Would you?
Oju. Oju, what is it? I was talking to you and you just walked out on me like that. I, I'm so sorry, sir. But I told you that I'm rushing to the mall to get some things. It's okay. It's okay. You just see, I just want you to understand that I like you as a friend. If you don't mind, I just want us to be friends. That's it. Sir, sir, sorry, sir, but sir. Your Majesty, I want to thank you for your settling of that matter very well. Uh, it's clear. That was why I told uh, the Council of Chiefs that um, I needed to consult with you. Come on, ah. Oka apa la ba wu ni si keje kuya. Hmm. Makana apa apa wele mo boda wana fa. Dalo. Thank you very much. But there's another matter I wear. Yes. Another matter? Mm. That I land along the expressway. Nzakujo became with a man who said wants to buy it. To develop it into a park, a mechanic park, where all big lorries, tippers, and others will be, you know, settling in. So I said, okay, I'll reach out to you. Um, I know what kind of is. As much as we're trying to encourage the development of our community, you agree with me that some of this development may be counterproductive. A mechanic garage at the edge of our community is risky. Now I ask you, who drive these big lorries and trailers mostly? They are mostly people from afar, you know, these drivers. They buy a dinya to better know. You see, I um, know. Not that I am trying to discourage the development of our community. But you see, this one, it has security issues. Okay, uh, Igwe, I heard it very well. Uh, it's simple. The matter will explain doesn't need to be, you know, looked for in the dictionary. Very good. Yes. I'll go back to them and tell them that it's not for sale. Hmm? That's it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm Very well. Very well. I am amazed at the rates of uh, development in this community. In fact, the community has turned to a town. But look at it now. <laughs> it's now a city. Brother, that's why the Igbos are who they are. You know, I am a Roro, a Bombo, a Chuguman, and what they go near Yak, near the back, near the Ziak. That's a typical Igbo man. Industrious and hardworking. That's why when you come to the Igbo land, you might go to some towns in Igbo land. You know, you find out that the speed of development is on a higher level. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, you'd be surprised that the village you, you know two years ago has changed and turned to the town. You know, <laughs> because um, <clears throat> Igbos are wonderful anyway. So I'm so glad. I, I am really happy and impressed. And I'm happy and proud that I'm from this part. Yeah, just near. But you know, the government should pay more attention to the bad roads. Mm. 
good, good schools <laughs> and um, well, hospital. That is the bedrock of every society. I know, right? I know. Oh, would you thank God you're here? Mm. Please, can you help me change the towel in my room? And again, I, I don't do this. Uh, why? You don't want anything to drink? No, any soft. Um, something cold. Oh, okay. All right. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. Francis. We don't have any cold soft drink. My friend, get into the house and then ransack everywhere for cold drink. I'm saying we don't have any cold drink. Oh, no, no, no. There's no light. Eh? There's no light in the house. And then, when I, did you switch off all the uh, refrigerators? No. My friend, walk away. Huh? Hey, hey, come, come. Turn around, come. Come. Oh, but um, you're a party there, party. Hello, hello. Are you, are you okay? Something wrong with you? That's because I pressed your bum bum. Is that why you threw the tray away? Nonsense. What if I... Who is it? Who is it? Stop that now. Stop it. Relax. Relax. These are my subjects. Stop again. They are my subjects. I'm blue blood. This is India with a black blood, man. I'm a king's... I'm a king's son. Son of the king. Automatically, I'm a king. A crown prince of Asia kingdom. I don't like when someone talk down on people just because he has a better opportunity in life. I Francis. Francis, why are you? Why are Francis. Yeah. Well, let me idea from a cookie when I want to see you somewhere. That form. Ross, enjoy yourself. Point and kill. I have no one. I didn't want. You understand me? <laughs> Listen, I'm Udez. I'm like a Django. Django, meaner than mean, better than bad. We are royalty. And we are having fun like royalty. I go to the Hey, hey, hey. My friend, come and clear this. Nonsense. Uh -uh. Francis, where is my brother man? Um, my prince. Hello. I did not to say when I came with my friends. Aha. Hey, stop. Oh. What is it that Francis sees in you that I have not seen or this wife? I'm sorry, my prince. I just came to drop some toiletries. I'm going to finish up my work. Lord. Oh, Lord. Anyways, um, come to my room later. Hmm? At least you have a fresh bath. Alright? And then wear good perfume. And change into something revealing, like nightgown. So, that's good. Yeah, man, I should Francis, you know. Hmm? Right? I'm sorry, my friends, but I cannot come to your room. I know what you want, and I'm sorry I can't give it to you. Are you okay? What do you mean you can't do what I am asking you to do? Huh? What's that? Are you rejecting the, the prince of the land? No, no. Shut no. up. Are you saying you are better than those that I have had 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 it with? Is that what you're saying? My prince, I'm sorry, it's just that I promised my father that I'm not going to have anything to do with a man till I'm married. Wow. 
Hold on, I, you're telling me you're a virgin? Is that what you're saying? That you're a virgin? Wow! <laughs> I feel you now. I'm like a virgin. Listen, I like virgins. She gets, I like virgins. Are you mad? What's wrong with you? That you get out of your room? Get out. You're ordering me out of my father's house? Listen, I am a crown prince. My father is the king. Next time you want to order people out of the room, go to your father's house. That is if you have one. Hey, stupid. Don't try that again, you Francis, we don't to you. Francis. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'll, I'll call you later, okay? <laughs> What is wrong with you? How can you be a problem to everyone? How could you fight Francis right in his own room and to worsen it all? When the mother and I came to ask you the cause of the fight, what did you do? You walked out on us. If your father hears this, what do you think your father will say? Eh? That is the problem, Mom. Exactly the problem. Because father talks down on me every now and then. That's why Francis has the temerity, the authority, the strength to walk me out of his room, right? Yes, mom. That guy is insane. He's insane, mom. That's what you keep saying. Exactly what did he do to warrant both of you fighting? Okay, mom. We're standing outside. Udru came to serve us drinks, okay? And this grabbed at us. Mom, I was so embarrassed. I told him this isn't decent and it is not proper. He, he, he said he has a right to do whatever he wants to do in his father's house. That is what he said. Ude said, better come clean with me so that I will know what to tell your father when he asks. Eh? 
When he hears it and asks what the problem is, I don't know what to tell him. What really happened? Why did Francis walk you out of his room? What did you do that led Francis to walk you out of his room? Well, mom, I... <clears throat> nothing, actually. Nothing. Normal thing, him ago. You know, I... It was not a big deal, though. I touched uh, Ju's ass. You know, I... I got it. That was just all. You did what? Oh. You fumbled with Uju's ass. On a Kumasi level. On a Kum Kum way. No, no, no. I'm from Nabela and I is it not because it's up here. Kick it as on a Kumasi level, on a Kum Kum way. Me, you want mad. Me, what? Mom, it was not a big deal. It was just Francis that made it a big deal and I walked me out of it. Can you hear yourself? Can you hear yourself who dares it? Eh? You have virtually raped all the maidens in this palace. One of the incidents which led to the death of one of the maidens. If not for your father's influence and connections, by now you would have been rotting in jail. Still, you don't want to stop. What is wrong with you, Udeze? Mom, I If I had another child, I would have killed you myself. I go out here, I go. I'm going to join the Buhalo. When I hear about the assault, he did that. That is exactly what he did. I got into the room. I saw him trying to rape this girl. This innocent, decent girl. He was molesting her. Well, I know how to pull him off her. You know what he told me? He said that I don't have the right to order him in his father's house. That I should go to my own father's house. That is if I have any. And throw my weight around. That's very stupid of him to have said. No, Mom. He is right. What they say is right, Mom. We're in Nigeria. In our own hometown. In the first place, Mom, why, why did we go to a hotel? Why are we in the Igwe's palace? Why, Mom? Why not my father's house? Why not my father's family's house? Why? So, please. Please calm down. I know you're upset about today, Zay. But oh, please, let this not take us back to a discussion we have been having. A discussion, we have had a discussion we never concluded. We never did. Mom, Mom, you said we will get to Nigeria that you're going to take me to my father's house, to my father's family's house, to my father's people. Mom, I want to see them. I want to go to my own father's house. I want to see my father's people. I want to see your own people, mom. I want to see them. I want to see my family, my real family. So please. So please, not again. Don't start. Please. So please. Please, mom, calm down. Please don't start this again. Mom, I am serious. I am serious, mom. Really, I am. <laughs> okay, it, it, mom. Okay. I'm going to wait till tomorrow morning. And by tomorrow morning, I am going to make my own finance. Mom, if I find out that my father is still alive. Juma, you mean that beast tried to rape you? Hey, hey, my sister, you are lucky. If not for Mr. Francis that came to rescue you, very, very lucky. Oh. In short, my name is called Lucky now. Hey, I am so happy. I don't even know how to thank Mr. Francis if not for him. Hey, I just, I feel like, eh? Hi, I feel like, I feel like, oh, it's not you. I feel like I hug you. Hi, Mr. Francis. Is it only to hug him? I wonder you like him. And he likes you too. If not, why do you think that he rescued you yesterday? Eh? 
and um, that one is not what we are discussing. You see? Hey, Mr. 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 Panson. Good yeah, good afternoon. I hope Udeze did not hurt you yesterday. Hey, no, no, sir. I should be the one asking you. Hope he did not. <laughs> no, I'm all right. You. I'm all right. Hey, sir, <laughs> thank you very much for fighting for me servants like No, it's okay. It's hey, okay. I couldn't stand. I couldn't stand him or anyone molesting you. Hey, thank you. See, please, uh, would you? Huh? I want you to tell me about this place and these people here. And also, do you know where they have the Iziama Catholic Church? I want to go and meet uh, Reverend Ilodibe. Ilodibe? Yeah, Ilodibe. Ilo, Ilodibe. Okay. You are at the right track. It's not far from here. Okay. Once you come out of this compound, three streets after this compound, you see Reverend Ilodibe's house. Behind his house is the Iziama Catholic Church. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. Eh? Okay. Uh, Mr. Francis, um, why are you asking after Reverend Ilu today? Is everything okay? Yeah, everything is okay. My my mother told me that uh, family. So I uh, there's something I'm looking for. Actually, I want to find out something from him. Anything you are looking for, your mother should tell you about it. Excuse me. Would you please stay call? Please come. What were you discussing with my son, Francis? Hmm? I said, what were you discussing with Francis? Not a man, not a... He, he only asked me if I know Reverend Ilodibe, the Nizia Mass Catholic Church. Yes. Your Majesty, excuse me. What is the matter? You sounded alarmed, and before I could hear what you were saying, you have called the call. Beatrice, there's a problem. There is a problem, and I don't know what to do about it. It's okay. Just come inside, okay? Let's go inside. Come on, come with me. Let's go inside. Sorry, I didn't hear you calling. I hope there's no problem. There's no problem. Okay. Mr. Francis, you know we were discussing when your mom came and left. Yes. Mr. Francis, you are a very nice man. You've been very protective of me. I want to help you. Tell me, what is it you want to know? Oh, Drew, don't worry. This is way beyond you, okay? Because I'm a mere servant, right? Well... I will disappoint you. My mother worked in this palace for Igwe Mudebe the first. She worked for him for 15 years. And when he died, another Igwe was crowned. My mother came back to the palace and worked for another 10 years. So, as you can see, I was practically born and raised in the palace. So there's nothing I don't know. So do you believe me now? I'm sorry I underrated you. That's nice. Um, you were talking about Reverend Ilodibe and the Catholic Church. Yes. I know you want to know about your mother's people and mom, yes. right? Yes, exactly. Um, my mother told me that Reverend Ilodibe was your mother's father. In fact, your mother was the only child of Reverend Ilodibe and he loved her so much. He said he loved her so much until your mother got pregnant for him. So Reverend was very angry and 
had to send her out. He who disowned her. And my, my, my mother did not tell me all this. Your mother and Lolo Beatrice, they were best of friends. So Lolo Beatrice got married earlier to Igwe Modebe. So when your mother was frustrated and had nowhere to go, she had to beckon on Lolo Beatrice, who took her in. So she went to stay with them in the city. Lolo Beatrice and Igwe Modebe took very good care of your mother and you until you were born. So um, you and your mother had to stay with them for some time before Odezu was born. If we had no other choice than to send you to the US. This is quite a information. So, did your mother mention to you who my real father is? Did she tell you anything about my real father? Hey, I'm sorry, Mr. Francis. She did not tell me anything. So, rumor that was a teacher where your mother was, that got her present. Why others rumor that it was a civil servant that worked in the post office? That we were not pregnant. And they said the civil servant was a married man. So he rejected the pregnancy. And that was the main reason Reverend Eno Dibe was very, very mad at your mother. Because of the married man. I don't care. All I want to know is who my real father is. Even if he's dead, let me just know who he is, where he's from. I mean, his family. That's all I care about. That's all I want to know. Mr. Francis, I think I have an idea. There are three people that will know who your father is. God. One is Igwe Modebe. Two is Lolo Beatrice. Three is Onowu Kalistus. Onowu Kalistus is Igwe Modebe's best friend. So if Igwe Modebe knows who your father is, Onowu Kalistus also knows who your father is. Okay. Please, let me start Doris, you need to calm down. Eh? Let him go and do his findings and come back. He will definitely come back, so don't worry yourself. Yes. Stop jittering over this whole thing. He's a man. The man must find his heart. Because he will need to bear his name, inherit his company, and then continue his life. My dear Doris, you should have told him who his father is a long time ago. Eh? You didn't even tell us. Hey! I have never seen a secret so guarded. Hi! His father is dead. And what if his people lure him away? Then I will stay empty handed and stay childless for the rest of my life. No. No. <laughs> no, Doris. You're getting it all wrong. He is the man. He will not stop until he finds his father's family. Even if it is one survivor that is in that family, he will not rest until he identifies with him or her. Inigo, so just calm down. Well, Francis, I like the direction you're going. It shows that you're a very intelligent young man. But I can't help you. Yes. I only knew when my friend, the Igwe and Beatrice, took your mother in. But I didn't go to the extent of asking who was responsible for her pregnancy. I'm sorry. Can I help you? All right. Um, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. I beg to take my leave now. <sighs> Francis, come. I don't know why your mother didn't want to tell you who is responsible for her pregnancy. But there must be a reason. Why don't you go and ask her? 
because that will make you continue the search or not. Jessica, hmm? I wish you good luck. Sorry. Good luck. Thank you very much once again, beloved. No, no, no. I appreciate it. Oh, yeah, the little man. Thank you, sir. Ah, nice. Ah, uh, Messi, messi, Kelly. Nice. Ah, thank you. Nice. Mm -hmm. Hey! Thank you, boy. Hello, my What is it? Nice. Hello, my dear. Hello, This morning, mm -hmm. I saw a zoo can vomit. Hmm. So I took her to the hospital. Where they ran a test on her. Nah. Azoka is pregnant. Eh? Pregi? Mba, nah. mba, mba, mba. See for yourself. Azoka dime. Hey, hey! Udeza na bitri se bubom. Ha na na mniyi. Mom, why don't you want me to know my father's family? Why? What is behind this secrecy? What? And why did you refuse to tell your father who was responsible for the pregnancy? Where did you get that from? I went to see Reverend Lodibe. I went to his house. And I met his younger brother, Mazio Nyeze. Mazio Nyeze directed me to my godfather's house. To his family house. I got there, I met his sister. And they all said they don't know who is responsible for your pregnancy. And that was what got your father angry and he sent you away. You actually went to see those people? Francis, it wasn't easy for me. The person responsible for my pregnancy was married and I couldn't destroy his marriage. I couldn't destroy his family. He, he begged me not to disclose it. And before I knew it, he already left the village and I've never seen him again. Mom, how could you? How could you, Mom? How could you have an affair with a married man? You keep preaching about morals, morals, morals. Whereas you have none. Now look who is suffering it. Okay, tell me. Where is this man? Son, he's dead. I saw a friend of his that told me he was involved in a car accident. He's dead. And you never get to ask his friend my father's village? You never asked him where my father is from so I can go and look for my people. It didn't occur to me, son. Mom, how could you? How could you have an affair with someone you have no knowledge of? How? See, Mom, I don't believe you. I truly don't. And all I want is the truth. Else, you're going to lose me. Yes. No son. no, son, you can't do that to me, please. You can leave me all alone. No, 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 please, don't say that. You can't leave me. You can't leave me all alone, son, please. Son, please, son, please don't do this, please, son, you can't leave me. Oh, I'll be all alone, I'll be left alone. Mom, I am going to give you a few days few days to decide. All I want is the truth. If you don't tell me the truth, then you're going to lose me forever. God.
Uh, um, Your Highness, we are here. He sends for us. I think they are safe from them. It is better you hear it from them. Mercy, tell her exactly what you told me. Thank you, Your Highness. Two days ago, I noticed that Adak, my daughter, was not feeling well. And she was vomiting too. I took her to the hospital to run a test on her. The test results showed that she's pregnant. I sat her down and discussed with her. She told me that Daisy, your son here, is responsible for the pregnancy. That is why we are here. I brought her to you. Uma, what are you talking about? Huh? You're, you're pregnant? For who? Father, I, I, I did it. It was just... I did it once. Only once. It takes once for pregnancy to occur. Father, just once? Eh? Mercy. How certain are you that who dares that my son is responsible for her pregnancy? Oh, oh my God. Yes! I know that Udeze had something to do with her. But I also know that Udeze might not be the only man that has had something, something to do with her. Uh -huh. ah. Would you respect your majesty? Are you insinuating that my daughter is wayward? I want to correct something. My daughter is not wayward. Because I took time to join her. And I can vouch for her behavior. Azoka is not a virgin. I know she has not had anything to do with any man for the past two years because I advise her to finish her education first. <laughs> anyway, uh, I don't know how you people want to go about this. But for your information, <laughs> my son here, Ude is a woman. <laughs> Is already engaged to be married to a lady, well-groomed lady in the United States of America. <laughs> the lady has a doctorate degree, and she is the daughter of our deputy governor. So, as you can see, as a prince, he cannot get married to any person but somebody of timber and caliber. No, I can't that. You and your wife have notified us of your daughter's pregnancy. It's noted. I have no doubt that my son here, Daisy, is responsible. We have a tradition in how we handle such matters. There will be a family meeting, and Daisy inclusive. Oh no, my friend. You will be notified after the meeting. And I assure you, the right thing will be done. Thank you, Your Highness. I understand you perfectly. Yes. 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 Man, what you, huh? you are giving them hope that you will marry their daughter. What is the meaning of this? Father, Father, this one. I walk over. Someone just walked in here and said that I, I got her pregnant. Imagine. You, you listen to them. It won't work. Over. It's okay. Mama, it won't work at all. It's okay. It's okay. Mother, then, then, once. Oh, uh, once. Well, that's all you're about. Yes. Can you just go to your room? Let me talk with your father and make sure you don't do anything stupid. Father, we go to the It's okay. Calm down. What's your room?
your highness i made an observation but you ignored it please talk to me do you realize riding on the tiger's tail by your consistent insult on no one's family why do you always look down on them implying that their daughter is wayward why <sighs> Your Highness, desperate people can take advantage of situations like this to enter the palace through marriage. If you don't stop them from the beginning, they will be all over you. You are forgetting something, woman. Oh no, Callistus, I've been my friend since childhood. He's well read. And attain the highest level in the civil in the civil service. Is it because he did not enrich himself fraudulently that you are making a grievous mistake by looking down on him or antagonizing him? Your son's chances of becoming my successor largely depends on him. So, as it stands, Udeze's record does not impress him or any other chief. Stop being or worsening your son's chances of becoming my successor. But your highness. That does not mean that you should allow our son get married to their daughter. She is not fit for him. Any woman that is fit for any man to sleep with is also fit for him to marry. And our son, Udeze, is not an exception. She's trying to say that Azoka is not good for her son. Mercy. It's not all the time the dog barks that the owner gives it attention. Sometimes the dog barks just to seek notice. I don't bother myself about what Beatrice says now. I listen to the word. And he has told us to go that will get back to us. I, I hope you will consult with a good decision. If they deny Azoka's paternity, it means Azoka will abort their baby. And you know, it is risky. The church and God forbid it. Mercy, I know. I know all this. Huh? Don't make me fool. No. So nah, 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 this is serious. So. Mm. Yes, I will go straight into the matter without wasting time because I have some people waiting for me in the palace. I called you two here in respect of the issue of Grand Askosani, Utezi, and Azoka. 
I want to tell you that I have decided that Udeze will marry Azoka. Mm -hmm. Ono and I have agreed that his wife should bring Azoka in the next few minutes. Father, I am a queer male. Ah, I have the right to choose who I want to marry. It is my life, or not your life. You are right. I concede to that, and also acknowledge that. But I must remind you that you cannot mess up other people's life and expect yours to go the way you planned it. Look, whatever you do in life as a man, be ready to take the responsibility of the consequences of your actions. Your rapist tendency has landed you into marriage. In three months, we will plan your wedding, if you like. Go out there and impregnate another woman. I'll make sure that you marry her. Yes. Well, luckily, polygamy is acceptable to our tradition. Mom, are you, are you just sitting there and, and not saying anything? Are you not hearing what, what Father is saying? Huh? Mom, say something, Biko. What's this? Nani, this is not fair to him at all. What do I tell my friend Sheila? You know that Udeze and her daughter are engaged to be married. Eh? She's in the United States and you know it. It is not fair at all. It is not. Look, woman. I will not always do what is fair to him. He should do what is fair to others. Like I, I have said before, Azuka will be here soon. It is your responsibility to welcome her into his room and make her comfortable. If he refuses to marry her, huh, I will not only disown him, but I will kick him out of this palace. And if you oppose it, you will go with him. This is my call. And it will always stay. And it is fine. Anybody who does not like this decision should get out of the palace. I'm not here, Mel. Father, in fact, you two get out. Everybody should get out. What is that? Nobody can push me away in my, my father's okay. abode. It's okay, just calm down. No, good. I'm not going to be here. Calm down, I'm eh? trying to calm myself down equally. Mom, mom, just, just, just hold on. Can't can, can somebody do, 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 do whatever? Please shut up, you're the cause of the whole problem. Just calm down. Ha-ha. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying.
Azoka, Okui Watalihen. Remember all the advices you receive at home. Eh? Yes, Be respectful. Be respectful. Don't do anything that will bring shame to us. Okay? Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay? Thank you, Mother. Any girl will be glad to be married into the royal home. <laughs> but me now, the thought of being around that, <laughs> that today's okay. is frightening, Mother. Daco. Calm down. Calm down. Huh? We have gone through this before. Eh? The Igwe is a nice man. I know he will protect you. Okay. I know. That's it. Welcome. Okay. I can assure you, you will be safe. Here. Okay? Of course you will. Your father is always here too. Eh? Just go inside and take good care of yourself. Eh? Don't do anything that will bring shame to us. Eh? Yes, mm -hmm. Mama. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Okay? Thank you, Mama. Don't worry. Everything will be okay. Okay? Let us be realistic about this matter, Doris. Time has caught up with you. You need to complain. Yes. I know. I know. I will tell him. I guess it's about time. Mm. Better. Now you are talking. So that this young man will be happy once again. Greetings, Your Majesty. Greetings, Azoka. You're here now. Yes, Your Majesty. My mother brought me. She had just left. Okay, um, just get settled and join them in the kitchen, okay? Okay, Your Majesty. You can go. Um, who is she? That's a desert's wife. Desert's wife? Who does it has a wife? How? When did it happen? Uh -huh. Like I was saying. Who's there? If I come in and close my door. I don't want to know about your deal with my father. But I want you to put this 
into your skull. I don't care about you or your pregnancy. If you have chosen to be in this room, never, never you speak to me when I have not spoken to you. Don't touch, I mean, don't touch anything in this room. Last, don't try to play wife, wife to me. Last time was nice. You want some more? Sure. you are planning to do. If you leave, do you have any money on you? I can take care of myself. If I don't see my father, I mean if I don't see my real father, I'll go back to the States and never to come back. And I'll make sure my mother does not set her eyes on me again. But the king will not be happy with you. He will blame you for not coming to tell him before leaving. And besides, what about me? Uza. I think it's it been the so light dizzy. now, Uza. It's been so dizzy. Romantic scenario. Nabonya. Eh? In whose compound? Benham, my father's compound. Nice breeze. You guys are enjoying it. And then the moon is he's been waiting and then he left you guys. Well, it's okay. It's okay. More more be. Okay, well, we'll be more. Let's see if you're calling a go be this year. Obi less. If not, I would have thrown you out of this compound. Both of you evacuate you, uproot you. I'm not that heartless, just a reminder. When I'm born and the Okwan, me will money or cool you be okay. I'm a broke or cool. And if I'm not away, I just wanted you guys to know, you know, let me remind you. And you, looks like there's no woman where you're coming from. Because since you came back, you've been wagging your tail. This is really even lady.
desert is like a jungle. I am meaner than mean and better than bad. I go out here. If I shout, men go come out. But so me we, eh? And you zoom all my men and you go. And I pay you here, man. All let me take you. Bara bara. We are going to make a canal. Clear your eye. Not in the mood, please. You're not in the mood. You don't, you don't have the mood. I don't care if you're in the mood or not. You don't. You don't. Majesty said that I must be in the kitchen in preparing the meal. The cook traveled. I want to feel you. Daisy, please. At least let me heal from the soul of last night. I'm not... Are you mad? Soul of last night? Are you saying I have machete in between my legs? Huh? Come here. Come. I said, come.
Ah. Why is the food not yet ready? Where is this girl? Azoka! Where is this girl? As we eat, may we get the desired nourishment to remain strong and heavy. Bless the hands that cook the food in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Um, there's a wife. Is your wife not here? She should be in the kitchen, not her. She should be here with us on this table. I'm sorry, Your Highness. Hmm. Oh my god, this food is too salty. Oh, oh god. Because what do we have for lunch? Salt? Oh. Your Highness, I, I don't understand. Azoka is the one that cooked this food. Azoka, what did you cook for us? Salt? Your Majesty, I can't explain what happened. Because I hardly cook with salt. In, in my family, we don't cook with salt. Will you shut up? Shut your trap! Are you listening to yourself? Beatrice, are you listening to yourself? How can you ask someone who just came into this house a few days ago to go into that kitchen and cook for me? Where is my cook? Your cook told me that the mother is sick. So he took permission to go and visit her. So? Why didn't you go into that kitchen and cook the food yourself? Your Highness, at this my level, when we have a wife in our midst, um, Bala. No, Azoka, I thought your parents said you are impeccable and that they brought you up very well. So what about the kitchen aspect? Eh? Just look at it. I can see that you and your parents are very stupid. Idiots! Move your boobs! Simple cook, you cannot cook! It's okay, though. Yeah, yeah. And what are you still waiting for? Eh? What are you still waiting for? Will you come and clear this rubbish? Take all these things away! You don't know how to cook. Simple cooking. The only thing you know how to do is just to open your legs wide for men. Eh? It's okay. It's okay, Richard. It's okay. Calm down. Oh, no, no, no. Please don't, don't, don't tell me it's okay. This girl doesn't know how to do anything. Simple cooking. She cannot. The only thing she knows how to do is to open her legs by cooking level for men. It's alright. Ah. Let's do something. I think we have to do something so that the house can eat. I think I should put it in the kitchen and prepare something. Mm. Okay. 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 Don't, don't worry, let me do something. No problem, I'll join you later. Where is this stupid girl? Will you come and clear these things? No sense. woman that doesn't know how to cook. So stop crying. No, ma. I can't cook. I can't cook very well. I cook for my family. <laughs> all right, all right. It's okay. Then let's say that some of us that cook very well sometimes make mistakes. And when we do, all we have to do is apologize. Then make sure it doesn't happen again. Ma, I did not make the mistake. I cannot make mistake. I cannot make that kind of mistake. My 
my family we do not eat salt because of my father's condition no matter how little it is <laughs> I know somebody tried to sabotage my efforts I know he's always trying to disgrace me <laughs> I'm leaving his father's I'm tired already I'm going <laughs> Calm down, calm down. Why is the food not yet ready? Do you see my smoke around? I mean, do you by any chance stumble on it? What do you mean, no, man? I left my smoke somewhere. I left my smoke somewhere here. I kept it here. Now I have ransacked everywhere. It's not nowhere to be found. No one kiss it free. I just want 
Did you see my smoke at all? I spoke. <laughs> yeah? Is there everything that they will spell? Oh, okay. Um, I think I sweat a lot because I sweat the room. Oh, you sweat the room? Yes, it was unkept, so I tidied it. And it was unkept. You kept it, tidied it. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Shut up. Talking, okay, talking. Okay. Shut up. Shut up. Where's my spoon? Where's my spoon? Where? Where's my spoon? Huh? Are you mad? Are you mad? Eh? Are you mad? Are you mad? You're mad. You're mad at me. Okay. You cannot be there. Oh. My smoke. My smoke. Gone to. I thought he was with us. Your Highness, I saw him drive up when we came upstairs to pick her. In that case, would you, you go with them. This oh, no. And drive carefully. Your Highness, I have been calling Uju and Breza, but none of their lines is going. I hope Azoka's situation has not worsened. I'm afraid. Oh, Reza, I have been calling your line. What is the problem? I'm sorry, Your Majesty. My phone was off. Your Highness, she is stabilized. Oh. But unfortunately, Your Highness, she lost the pregnancy. Oh. Oh. Mm. Is she all right? She's all right. Your Highness, but the doctor said he wants to watch her this night and discharge her tomorrow. But thank God, would you volunteer to stay with her? Oh, good of her. Good of her. Thank you. That is very nice. Um, at least this news is relieving. <laughs> Don't be too quick to celebrate yet. The time will come. When she comes back from the hospital unscratched. But if I find any scratch on her body, I swear by the gods, I will disown him and I will hand him over to the police. Oh. 
and I will make sure he rots in jail for a very, very long time. Your Highness, why are you always talking about disowning our own son? You want to lock him up and allow him to rot in jail. If you do that, who will succeed you? Let me worry about that. Be rest assured that my throne will never be left vacant. So one must succeed me. Who does his name? Why no one's name was not engraved on that throne? Say it again. Someone will succeed me. to hear that and I, I am really sorry about the loss of your child. Thank you, Your Majesty. I really appreciate your kind words. Yeah. Um, perhaps you would like to lie down and rest. Or do you want to eat something? to go. Stay with us. Okay? Thank you, Majesty. Please, can I say something? Go ahead. Thank you. You're a good man. And I know that my father respects his friendship with you. At the same time, he respects your friendship with my father. So I am promising you that I won't say anything to him to affect your friendship with him. Get on. You are a very intelligent young woman. 
But fortunately, my son and his mother could not see them. As you go, take care of yourself. I will discuss with your father on the phone. Go away. Okay, my just Go away. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. your attention. What is the problem? There is a problem. It's Francis. Francis, what happened? Your Highness, you need to come with me, please. Come. Yes, sir. We didn't discuss it. I had it in mind, sir. So, where are you heading? God, I am going away. Since my mother has refused to tell me who my real father is. I have had enough taunting from Daisy. On this regard, sir. Son, you don't have to search further. Look at me. St standing before you is your biological father. You are my son. So was that why you refused to disclose it to anyone? Yes. If I had told people, your father's marriage would have been destroyed. Because his people were already asking him to get another wife. But he refused. And it will also destroy my relationship with Beatrice. I'm sorry. I'm sad. So, what do you think, your friend? I mean, Lolo, on hearing this, how do you think she's going to feel? I think it is time for you guys to to come out clean with her. It is not true. What are you talking about? What is not true? Stop pretending. Just a while ago. Your Highness, please. I need your attention. What is the problem? There's a problem. It's Francis. Francis? What happened? 
Yes, sir. We didn't discuss it. I had it in mind, sir. So, where are you headed? Good father, I'm going away. Since my mother has refused to tell me who my real father is. I have had enough taunting from Daisy. On this regard, sir. Son, you don't have to search further. Look at me. St standing before you is your biological father. You are my son. Yes. You are my son. God. Have you not remembered? Tell me it is not true. Yes, it is true, Bridges. Doris, how could you? How could you betray me? And you call yourself my friend and my sister. You liar. You deceiver. You girl. Hold it right there. You and I, who is the liar? Who is the deceiver? I met Francis first. I introduced you to him. Then I had to go on a teaching assignment to anyone in the village. Only to come back and find out that you have taken him over. Hello. Please come in. Please come in. Francis. Francis, you're welcome. Sit. Sit. Francis, why do you come to welcome? Are you not happy to see me after almost a year? How's I? Sit. It feels good to be back. Yes. Oh! Wow! Who are you here? Doris! You're welcome. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Um, I didn't expect to see you here. Oh! <laughs> uh, Francis and I are now an item. <laughs> We are now married. Married? Yes. Francis. Is that true? Yes. 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 It's true. <laughs> oh, 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 congratulations. Thank you. But Francis, you didn't tell me. Well, um, it was horribly done. My parents mounted a lot of pressure. Your parents mounted pressure on you to get married or to get married to Peaches, particularly. It's all right. It's still my friend that you got married to. Exactly. <laughs> Are you happy, Bridges? Oh, yes. I am very, very happy. <laughs> Francis, what about you? 
Yeah. I'm happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> okay. Then I'm happy too. Um, I have to take my leave. Ah, no. I'll see you guys later. No, 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 no. Let's sit. I, you have to eat before going. I have something on the fire. No, no, no. Just sit down. I was already cooking something. So oh. just sit down. Let me get it for you, okay? Sit. Let me check if it is done. Oh, oh, oh. Just, just, just come down. I will explain. Yes. So all those promises are all lies. By the way, do you have to marry my best friend? Yes, yes, I am sorry. Come down, I am sorry. Forgive me, please. What happens to me? Do you know how many men I rejected because of you? Oh, that is, that is, look, look. I, I, I can't just explain what happened. You need to excuse Now, I, I just want to want you to know that I still love you like before. And I, 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 I can marry you if you are sad. See, see. I promise you, I will never leave you. Not for anything. Eh? Eh, eh. We will always be together. Because I appreciate the maturity you just displayed. Okay? I will never leave you. Come on. Come on. Come on. I will never leave you. Okay? But we moved on. Oh, yes. You got married to him. And I had to continue seeing him till now. And that was why he took care of Francis and I. That was why he sent me abroad. And that is still why he asked us to come home. <laughs> You dare try that again. Doris, I will deal with you. I will deal with you. Just back out of this palace. I don't want to see you anymore. Go back to that hotel or wherever you come from. It's like you stepped on a tiger still. Oh, let her bring it on. I'm not backing down this time around. What is the meaning of what you told Francis a few minutes ago? I heard. Oh, you heard? I see. If what you heard concerns um, Francis being my son, you heard well. That is what it is. I don't understand. How did it happen? When did this happen right under my nose? Sit, let's talk. No. I will not sit. I will stand. I'm listening. Okay.
Doris, why didn't you come inside? Because what I have to say to you is just for your ears only. Really? What might that be? I'm pregnant. And you are responsible. Ah. Are you sure? What kind of person is that? Am I sure if I'm pregnant or am I sure that you're responsible? Which one? Sure that you are pregnant? Of course I'm sure. I'm just coming back from the hospital. Look, mm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. I am happy. Very happy. <laughs> you are happy? Yes, I am. Why? What about your wife? Huh? She will be hot. Hey! <laughs> Talking about what my father's reaction will be. Look, I don't care. My parents, the being on my neck, the pressure to get another wife is too much for me. Francis, look, I understand your situation, but I am not marrying you because I don't want to hurt my friend. And I don't want to lose her friendship because we've come a long way. Okay, okay, I understand. Uh, hey. You know what, Doris? You keep the pregnancy and we'll keep the whole thing secret. Uh, uh, yes, come on, come on, I'm happy. See, see, I will take care of you and the baby. Oh, come on. Do this for me. Hmm? Come on. Do this for me. You see, this is how it is. My mother knew that Doris was pregnant for me, so she wanted me out of the house, so that Doris would be married into the house. So that is how it is. My mother knew that Doris was pregnant for me, so she wanted you out of the house, so that Doris would be married into the house. But Doris and I, we didn't want to hurt you, so we allow things to be the way they were. For 28 years, you have kept this a secret. You have kept this secret away from me. Francis, you are wicked and evil. Mind the way you talk to me, woman. Oh. You felt offended, right? <laughs> you didn't consider your friend's feelings when you threw yourself at me and got me married to you. Didn't you betray your friend's trust? And yet, she forgave you because the way you opened that your mouth. Or else I'll place a curse on you. I want them out of this palace. You know that cannot happen. Unless I say so. And I have to in control of things around me, my home, my son, and my royalty. I thought I outsmarted Doris many years ago, but I didn't know she was smarter. <sighs> the way things are now, Udeze will no longer be the successor to the throne, and I will not be the king's mother. No, I must do something. I can't just let go like that. No.
How my daughter Azoka is doing. I miss her How's she doing? Well, she's okay. As you can see, she's going to work. Oh, such a nice girl. I really miss her a lot. Oh, it's okay. We'll be going then. All right. All right. Ah, one more thing. Tear of his sinful crying and ashes, which I did not do to it. And uh, what can I do? That great Doris has charmed my husband into believing that Francis is his son. Can you imagine that? And uh, what did he just say? He accepted! Can you imagine? No, it's not possible. No. no. You have to resist it. You don't have to allow this. No. Mm. In fact, you you have to dissuade my husband from accepting him as his son. Well, Your Highness, you are very well. And it's only a woman that can tell the paternity of his child. In deep way, it's accepted as his father. I have no business in it. I have no business. No, I know that um, our relationship has not been cordial, but this is serious. I have regret to have an encounter. You really have to resist it. You must resist it in your Johannes, I'm sorry. I'm It's okay. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you. Same to you. Are you so cross against them? Who did this to you? Even if they said you are a fool, must you behave like a fool? Must you? Mommy, I am trying to be perfect. I'm trying to sort myself out so I can be perfect as it was by the time I'm done. Will you cut that rubbish? You imbecile! Cut that crap! You think you can fool me? Oh. Okay, you don't know I pretended just to convince your father. Now listen, Des. Wherever you are, continue fooling yourself. For your information, your father is about to give your inheritance to someone else. And by the time you come back to this house, you will notice that you are nothing but a stranger in your father's house. Mom.
Listen, son. Your father wants you to succeed him instead of that man about son of pictures. That is why he asked me to bring you back to Nigeria. Everything was planned, even to the point of us moving into the palace. He wants you to be around. So ensure that you are close to him. But mom, all these are not going down well with Nancy Beatrice. Something tells me she's not going to take this lightly. Yes, come here. Just, just. Yeah, is it what I've seen? Yes, I came to warn you. Warn? Warn me about what? I went with her highness to see you know Callistus. She went to protest to him about his highness acceptance of you as his son. She even persuaded him to dissuade him from his decision. But you know, but no one disagreed with her. He said he would not intervene. She was very furious with me. She was very, very angry. He started making calls, calling different people. She even called the priest, asked him to come back immediately. And Auntie Doris, please, you have to be very, very careful. You know that the queen can be very dangerous. Let you know when she's angry. Please, you have to be very careful. That's why I said she's come and warn you. It's okay, Jim Madika. But it is not our tradition. Why are you people keeping quiet? Okay. Can you come and talk to him? All right, I'll be waiting. All right. Here. <laughs> Is this place on fire? Oh, Udeze, what is that you're having in your hand? It's not a secret. Ndiyanhem? It's not Ndiyanhem, it's not a secret. So, this is what you have been smoking that is making you to be rascal? Eh? Your mom, I want to know who wants to take my inheritance now or through now. Who else? If not Doris and her son, Francis. Doris has charmed your father into believing that Francis is his, is his child. And by the acceptance of that paternity, Francis is now the rightful heir to his throne. Hey, who does that? 
German spirit told the German shepherd. <laughs> Is it possible? Or may when I told me, come here, I will burn down everything around this palace. So no matter what, me see, there is a jungle. As a jungle, I am mina da mina, bla bla bla. My, I go adi yako. Mba, no leba ko ba oko jungle. I go adi yako. Oh, muka pana so, muka na yako ni di bo. No leba ke na korobish. Yeah 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 yeah. And who is there? Who that? So maybe far. Who's that? Who invited you here? Get out! I won't. Get out! Mom, I go to Naro. I need to eat. Not call about your inheritance. I said, I go to Naro. What do you want? So, me, I don't care. Right, sir. I'm talking to you. I am talking to you. Don't walk out on a prince of the land. I am talking to you, my friend. What's the problem? There's a what is it? You're asking me what is it? There's a what is it? I'm asking you what is it? So you had the guts to follow me out here. What is it? You're raising your voice on a crown prince of this land. Okay. Don't try that this time, my friend. Desert, you just touched. You don't touch a crown prince. Who are you, Desert? Who are you? Jesus. Francis, you crawled out from. God knows where to, to come and to, to come and be dragging priesthood in this kingdom. Francis, you are a bastard. You are not blue blood. And you your mother is a hollow. The first to come and back out. The first to a woman. You're a madman. What is happening here? I asked again what is happening. You joke. How dare you people turn my palace to a battlefield? I ask again, what is the matter? Francis. Oh! So you now call him Francis? Will you shut up your mouth? Is my name not Francis? Go ahead. Uju came and told me that Udeza was fighting Francis. And I came and saw them fighting. Then as I was trying to separate them, Lolo here came to fight me too. Francis, why were you fighting Udeza? Father, I was on dining table eating. When Udeze came and started taunting me and called me a bastard and said I was born by a whore, I left him and I walked out. Udeze followed me and called my mother a whore. It's a lie. Will you shut up your mouth? By the way, where did you creep out from? Anyway, that would be a matter for another day. Go ahead. Father, Uju was there. She was there when everything your Highness, Mr. Francis was eating the food I served him. When Prince Udeze came in and started harassing him, he told him that he can never be royalty, that he's a bastard bomber and a lot. What? Oh, you called him a bastard and his mother a harlot? Is that what they are? Will you not? Will you shut up your mouth? Oh, I will show you that. He is not a bastard, and the mother not a harlot. But this time next week, I am getting married to Doris. And before the, the entire community, I will proclaim him my son, a royal blood. And if any of you dare fight any of them, I will banish that person from this kingdom. I have spoken. Your Highness!
nonsense. Why are you bothered? At least you should be happy by now. Your mind should be settled. You should now know who your father is. There are some things that are not adding up. Yes, I am supposed to be happy. But I am bothered. Bothered? Yes, you don't have to be bothered. I'm sure you don't understand. Everything is so complicated. I truly don't know what to believe anymore. Don't you get it? Mom! Mom, are you okay? I am checking where my aeroplane will land. There are so many aeroplanes coming here to come and carry me, to take me away. But this place is very small. <laughs> so, do I look good? Am I beautiful? Mom, are you okay? I need to look nice for my husband, Francis Modebe. Aeroplane will come and take hey. us away. This is not good at all. This is madness. You have to call your father. No, it's not. Mom, well, are, are you okay? <clears throat> I need to go and buy my ticket. Yeah? Huh? I don't want to miss my flight. I need to go and buy my ticket. Now, what's your ticket? Please, wait, wait. Go, 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 my flight will leave me home. It would, it would. It will leave me. No, it would. It I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming. I'm, let me buy my ticket. Come first. Let me go and buy my ticket now. My husband will leave me home. I want to take my husband away. I'll slap you if you don't come this, down. This, this flight. Oh, it's coming. Oh, my flight is coming. Oh, my flight is coming. Oh, Mom. I don't want to Mom. miss my flight. It has happened. Only oh, me, life in an ever and ever. Eh? Mom, what has happened? Hey, hey, hey. Who does it? 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 <laughs> no. Eh? They have gone mad. Completely mad. You need to go downstairs and see where they are holding her, trying to make sure that she doesn't run to the market naked. <laughs> <laughs> Madness! So what this man did work, eh? It worked! <laughs> <laughs> Anyone 
who dares me does so at his or her own peril. Mm -hmm. Yes! Nobody trades where angels fear to trade. <laughs> no matter how sick a lion is, a dog can never be greater than it. <laughs> I, Lolo, Beatrice Mordebe, have come a very long way. <laughs> and no one dare pushes me around. <laughs> oh! I got the idea. At all. <laughs> Your Highness, before last night, was she showing any sign of pressure at all? None whatsoever. In fact, I had a discussion with her before I went to bed. Yeah. Well, Your Highness, there are two options for you to take. One is to take her to psychiatry. Or oh. to follow it in a traditional means. Um, doctor, I will consult and take a decision. Well, in that case, I'll give her a shot to make her to avoid this violence. Thank you. But that's just a temporary measure to give you time to decide. Please, let the boy. Please, my friend. Where is my flight? Hmm? Has he landed? Where is my flight? I travel. I travel. Where is my flight? Where is my flight? My flight. My flight. No, everything is normal. Thank you, Doctor. Um, once I take a decision, oh God, I will wait for your course. I don't. Now the food is ready. Do you want me to serve you inside? They want to eat it here. Anywhere you want. <clears throat> okay. Let me serve it inside.
Nay, I can't stop thinking of Doris's madness. He can marry Silatra and Nola. Wow. Eh? How can someone just go mad just like that? Well, Messi, it's overwhelming and mind blowing. Are you? Go. Oh. <clears throat> Nay, you told me that uh, the way he told you of his plan to marry Doris. Oh, yes, he did. He did. Hmm? And uh, if he marries Doris, her son becomes the successor. If Digwe marries her, he becomes a legitimate child. Woman and Ibon. Nay, nay, wait, 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 wait. If that is the case, that means Beatrice has some questions to answer. Mercy. Hmm. Question, question, question. Well, yes. But judgment should be left for the gods. Hmm. Hmm? He who plants evil will definitely reap evil. Hmm. How do you go? How do you go? Beatrice, mm -hmm. it is Doris Francis. Hey, yeah, what's that? Oh, my, my, wait. Just see the way you are seated here. This place is not for you. Here it's for servants like us. Eh? See, you, you can't keep starving yourself. You have to eat so you have strength for your mother. Eh? How do you expect me to eat again? How do you expect me to eat when I don't understand anymore? Look at my mother. My beautiful mother lying down there in cohort. What is going on here? Huh? But are you always, always? I walk snake. Okay, if Francis, I want you to know Adoro. I see a lot of emotional exhibitions, you know. It's okay. It's okay. It's not your fault. I feel your pain, brother. Your mother went mad. Your mother is raving mad. You know, if I wear your shoes. I will behave the way you behave. But I hear people say it is actually a repercussive mechanism employed by the gods to punish whoever that is trying to take what does not belong to them. <laughs> what do you... Huh? Oh. <clears throat> My friend, stand here. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. 
mafia wanted to sneak away? No. Stand here. So that you hear what I will say to this man that you've been running after. Running after since he came. He came. Utua, utua. Beyonce. Since he came back. He came back. He came back. He came back. You cannot start a place. Listen. Nah. How could you and your mother ever imagine that you could come into a place? Into a place you did not know anything about. You don't know how it started and you want to come and claim what is there. You want, you want to dance together. Eh? They did not tell you that. Together. Together. It's not a dance for normal people. That is a dance of the spirit. Nobody told you. You cannot be royalty when you were not born into the lineage. Hello? First of all, buy a strong man, subdue a strong man before entering his house. Udeze is a Django, and Django is meaner than me, better than bad. So it is not possible. It's in where you are you're not you're not you're not blue blood. Francis, you don't even know your father, do you? Huh? Do you know your father? <laughs> okay, Daru. Awesome. Awesome. You can go get that one Listen, what have I said now? That is wrong. Did I say anything wrong? Is his mother's madness affecting his brain? When I'm annoying no more, don't sooner you see us there. You can, eh? Manuju, what is the problem? Why are you betraying me? Would you? I notice a lot of bonding going on between both of you. Would you, this is betrayal of the highest order, if you do not know. If it were to be in those days, would you, I would have ordered that you be beheaded. Believe me. My name is Bob and I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. As you dare I am a jungle. Not the meaner than mean, the better than bad. You know that now. Listen, you know, we have uh, an unfinished business. But I am waiting for all this whole thing, this bara bara boo boo, or die or now, when it settles like dust, you know. I own you, body, mind, and soul. Hey, <laughs> my pounded yam. I will pound you now, you know, right? <laughs> so, what is it? On the morning, this is my mouth. My mouth smelling. He's not smelling. This is okay now, but it's also. Huh? Nyem keys, nyem location. Give me a kiss and tell me where we'll meet and how you want it. It's okay. <laughs> You are mine. You are mine. Go. Hey, 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 Yes, coming. Sick. 
Godfather, I am worried about my mother. And uh, I, w I would like to know what your plans are. <sighs> of course. I am working on something. Yes. But listen. You have to be a man in times like this. I knew when I asked your mother to bring you to succeed me, it was not going to be easy. But then, you must understand that nothing good comes easy. Because one day, someday, as the people's king, you may be required to show courage and control. Thank you, sir. They're on break. Many have gone in for lunch. All right, um, run outside and get me a packet of cigarettes. Yes, no, All right, run. Lady Doris. Can you see yourself? Remove this thing so I will be seeing your face. Can you see yourself? I'm worried. Oh, you are worried. I'm worried. About what? I'm worried about my flight. My flight? Your flight. <laughs> yes. My flight. Yes. It has landed. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. You want to know where it has landed? Yes. Yes. I want to fly. Oh. Fly. Oh. Fly to London with my husband. <laughs> <laughs> you will fly. You want to fly? Yes. It's my flight. My with flight. your husband. Yes. My flight. Don't worry. I will take you to where you will fly. <laughs> Just come. Come with me. <laughs> come with me. <laughs> my flight. My flight. Take it. Take it.
I'm very sure. Mom! Doctor, it's good to meet you here. How's she doing? Today is better than yesterday. Look at that mind. She's gone to she, she, She's nowhere to be found. What? How could that be? But her, her room is properly locked. No, Godfather, the door is opened. Who could have done that? Not be allowed to get to the market because it will be difficult to cure her. This is absurd. Why is everybody standing? Dad, Mom, what's the problem? Anybody chasing you from the palace? When you are in the palace? Doris is missing. Doris is missing? Yes. Who days? Where are you coming from? Dad, I just stepped out. I went to buy my tobacco. What do you mean? You want one stick? Stop talking! Else I'll get the DPO to get the truth out of you by torture. Dad, I don't understand. I just stepped out to get something. You seem to get Doris, you know. I want Doris now. Huh? Your Highness, why are you accusing him? He's just coming in. About you, Mom. Adaku, repeat majesty. what you just told me. Okay, Your Majesty. Um, Your Majesty, when I was coming out from the backyard, I saw Prince Sudeze leading Antidoris into his car. And, and, and he drove up with her, and the gate was wide open. Did you hear that? And you are here defending him. Adaku! I ask for the last time. Where did you take Doris? I got. Okay. I'll get inside and get my offer to curse you. No, 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 Your Highness. He's our only son. Oh, He's not my only son. Francis here is also my son, my blood. And for you, you cease to be my son. Oh, no. This boy here ceases to be my son. And you, Lord, you, you are. Yes, Your Highness. Your Highness. Okay, Thank God you are improving so fast. All you need now is to have a very sound rest. But don't worry, I'll give you an injection that will make you to sleep very well. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, before you do that, please call me. You know for me. Right away, sir. Thank God you know we stay very much away. Hello, is that you? 
He is very stable now, and he is conscious. Uh, doctor, why don't we take him to the hospital for proper medical analysis? I assure you, everything is going to be normal. All he needs now is to rest. Just that his blood pressure shot up, and thank God I was available to handle the situation. So, doctor, what is the next thing? I want him to rest, but he insisted on seeing the normal first before that. So after that, I'll give him an injection that will make him to sleep. So I can I go with the normal right now? Okay. <clears throat> Your Highness, for no reason. Where's the no? Oh, he's taking a call. Your Highness. Your Highness.
Rock Could you pull that thing off? Rock with me. Rock with me. Ah, ah. Forget the one on them. Uh, Are I you okay? Me. Hi. Your father just passed on. Uh, and you are here drinking and dancing. Mm -hmm. And how many times have I warned you about this thing you're smoking? Makam cigar. Boom, grab. My weed just finished. That's why I resorted to this. Listen, you should join me and party. We should marry. We should be happy. We should be in cloud nine. Because on a, on a very kum kum level, I swear down, me and you are supposed to be happy. <laughs> you understand, Mama? Hey. <laughs> I can see you are mad. I'm not mad. Will you shut up? Which one again? Eh? Are you mad? Mama, how? How will you be asking me if I'm mad? I am not mad. The death of the king of Iziama saved us. You don't know? How? Were you not there when our father pronounced my banishment? Huh? And he was about to pronounce yours when he collapsed. Were you not here when our father called Ono Kalistus and told him to make pronouncement of our banishment? And then Declare Francis the successor of Rana Nyai I was here. Aha! <laughs> you remember that when Dr. Sam came, that he asked everyone to go down. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. And then I left the room and came back on a very Kumasi level. And then I heard things. I saw things. Well, I couldn't wait. I couldn't just fold my arms and watch anybody, not even my father, throw me out of the house that I lived as a baby and grew to this level. And then let they learn my inheritance. One day. I had to do what I did for both of us. Yes. You did. Hmm? So, you are the one that. <laughs> Ma, you did. You did. And Django is meaner than me and better than me. You will be now number one on one in the street. Eh, I got a deal. Yeah, I got a deal. 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 I What is troubling you? Mobile one. We are the mark. Okay. Check it, good Check and balance them. Subtract them. Minus them. Plus them. Reason them. If no be true, I won't talk now. Almost two weeks. Let me not exaggerate anything. It's been a week. Our father died. My father died. Okay. Eh? Things have been stagnant in this kingdom. Nothing is moving. Oh, I want to succeed my father. Odeze, you will do that. But you know there is a process and some consultations to be done. 
and those things will come after the burial. More. From what I know, it will take like one year. Eh? Who does that now? Who does that? Oh, we don't have all day. We don't have all the time. We don't even need these people. All I want is let the council chiefs, led by Ono Kalistus, pronounce me the Igwe in wait. Then we all go now. No, there's money in this. How much are some deals? Lands, probably news. I am ready to go. You are right. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> but um, what I don't understand is what Uno is doing with the Council of Chiefs and Francis. I am afraid. Because I think Uno has recognized him as the successor. Uno. Who's Uno? Uno will issue. Eh? I'll take care of Uno. A man of low pedigree. Where do you get that does not know his left from his right? Uno won't call you to the idea of I'm not going to see you somewhere. Come on. Mom, I can handle him. He doesn't need I can handle him. I'll take care of Uno. Take care of Uno and Francis. You know? It is possible that Francis will go in search of his law. Remember what the native doctor told us. That on no occasion will I come face to face with the mom. Because the moment I do, the madness will be transferred from Doris to me. And that is why I told you to take Doris to, to the expressway where she will wander into oblivion. So, uh, That is the highest point of the, where people will get and they will not come back again. That's where I took Doris. <laughs> she can never return or do the possible. That's good. And then Francis, I have taken steps, restricted his airflow. He joke. Now, Francis can never leave this compound until I am ready to eliminate him. It's a guy, what I can have a local number, Zolego, who make a whole lot of money. Okay, 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 she, she, she was listening to us. No, I'm not. No, sorry, my prince. I'm, I'm just, I just, I came to inform you that you have a lot of visitors in the palace that came to condole with you. Um, this is uh, Lolo from Azumi and Igwem Banu and the a commissioner from the governor. The governor sent me. It's okay. I was about to knock when he now opened the door and asked me to If I find out, they will lie no sooner. I find out that you are lying, Mohammed. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just go and tell them that I'll be with them very shortly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Come on, Jantete. Mama, what are you She was an aunt. Don't worry, don't worry. I'm going to see our visitors downstairs, okay? Just be calm. Cause now, bro, we we are 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 we Where are you going to? Where are 
are you going to with your bag? I'm leaving, of course. Yeah? Do you want me to stay and get killed or even raped? See, listen. Ever since I, I told the late king that I saw Prince Utezi living with Auntie Doris, I know that Lola is not happy with me. One day she might remember. And that's not even the case. I don't like the way the prince fondles with my breast. I might get unlucky and he will rape me to death. Eh? Because he can't, precious are all gone. Because the king that protects us is dead. Are you not leaving? Huh? Um, I, 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 I will leave, but for him, no, I understand. I, I understand. You want to take care of Mr. Francis, right? No problem. Adaku, Adaku, Adaku. I was about stepping out when the security guards told me that I'm not allowed to leave this compound that you gave the orders. This is why will you give such orders? Yeah, I gave the orders because I want you to witness how I exert my powers on my subjects as the king of Isiama Kingdom. <laughs> so that you know that your pursuit towards taking what rightfully belongs to me has failed. Hmm? This, I don't want troubles. And I don't want your own trouble. All I want is to go out there and look for my mother so I can take good care of her. That's all I ask. <laughs> you don't know. You don't need to know that. Hmm? I have sent boys. They will soon bring your mad mother back. And then, it's okay. Go, go in. Go in and sleep. Take care of yourself, my brother. Hmm? Uh, in case you need Gucci Gucci. Don't worry, I'll send the boys to arrange one for you, so you'll be fine, okay? Daisy, I need to go in search of my mother. Oh, I want to go to and give you a one. Who is a jungle? I am meaner than mean and better than bad. If you try this one more time, one more time, I will approve to you. help you find your mother. Yes, and when we find her, we're going to take her to the old house. We are not going to bring her back to this house because it's no longer safe for her. We're going to take her to the old house, as I said, and about the keys, I know where they kept it. 
you know, I normally go there to clean every now and then. Mr. Francis, from now on, we have to think about how to take you out of this palace for your safety. And uh, I'm already thinking of something, but you have to give me time to execute my plan. Okay? What would I have done without you? Now, Joe? What? Thank you very much. What would I have done? Uh, I don't know anyone. I I I I don't know anywhere. If not for you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. The death of your grandmother there is a very painful loss to all of us. And I understand how closely related both of you were. But what has happened has happened. And we, the living, must move on. Because the people are looking up to us. Oh no. I suggest that you, as you know, should announce myself as the incoming leader of the Zanatoga so that the position of authority and responsibility shall have somebody seated to handle it. <coughs> Well, Your Highness, I've heard you. But um, unfortunately, what you are asking for is not possible. Well, first of all, uh, the Council of Chiefs will and approve. And then take a decision on who the next successor to the throne should be. And from all I know, Udese is not Igwe Modebe's first son. That is why I told you this. What nonsense are you vomiting? Huh? It's okay. Mom, no, 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 mom. I told you that this man will be very difficult. I told you let me do it on, on my way. Let me do it my way. First, you have told me to go and get seat as one like a, a crown prince of his Yama kingdom. So there's a just come down. Eh? Come down. Hey, Guinea, I'll see when you are done. Come to the court. Come down. <laughs> Show you some respect to Daisy. Hello, Nia, a lot of them. Mara Mara Zen, you have no care. Um, hello, Wakalistas. We have to put our differences before us and work together. I know you need money. And we can give you money. But all I want is for us to work together. I will offer you 10 million naira to make sure that my son will 
devil sits on that throne. Apart from that, you will be on a monthly salary of 200,000 naira. How about that? Your Highness, I've heard you well. Well, Your Highness, I've heard you very well. Thank you for the offer. But I'm not for sale. Mm -mm. And um, if this is why you're here, I'm sorry, I have some other things to do. Um, oh no, I... Um... Oh no, 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 can this. I can see you need more time to think about it. I will give you three days. Just three days to think about it. Have a nice day. You'll be wasting your time. Let's go. I've seen a gun, but the thing is that I thought somebody sneaked inside and came to, and came to keep it there. You belong to the late Igwe. I used to oil it for him while he was still alive. Yes, now. Hi. Would you? Ordinary gun. Hi. I was worried and wondering if you could make it. We need not to worry, Mr. Francis. Kicking that security man was one of the easiest things to do. I was thinking. I was thinking for sure why. As soon as I find out how you're missing, I definitely ask people to come stand looking for us. I think we should just stay inside for a long time. You're right, Mr. Francis. Let's just go inside. Don't worry, I can do that. I've already made arrangements for it. Yes, please. No, 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 no,
Francis. Is that you? Yes, it is me. I am going to the airport. I want to travel. And my aeroplane is waiting for me. I don't want to miss my flight. You want not to miss my flight. Go back to the farm. You almost have to meet you. A two-hour drive by car. Go back to the farm. At my own house, you will see the tape. Francis Marvin. Go back to the farm. What rubbish are you talking about? How can you be at the gate and two adults left this palace without your knowledge? I, I saw your majesty. I did not see Mr. Francis leave. And since that time, since, she has not returned. <gasps> Fool. Fool. I want to ask you a question. Was there ever a time you went outside the gate or the backyard? I did not go outside. I only came in when Uju called me to come and see your father's gun in his room. She was so afraid. Interesting. Yes, she was so afraid. <laughs> Interesting. Uju called you to come and see my father's gun. Idiot. Animal. You see? That was when she tricked you that so that Mr. Francis could walk out of the gate. And you are here telling me. My friends, she did not trick me. Would you not trick me? If I hear one more word from you, I will castrate you immediately. Are you mad? Mobilize the youth. Go after them. I want them back here. Do you know that all the workers in this palace are gone? More especially the girls. And this idiot. This animal is at the gate and all of them left without his knowledge. Nico, my chest. Nico, get out. Sorry. Get out. Sorry. Yeah. 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 It's okay. I, 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 I can't just understand. Nico, my chest. This bastard was here and... It's okay, just okay. Stay. It's okay. I need to smoke. I need to smoke. Mom, get me smoke. Yeah. I should get you a smoke. No, no, I need to smoke. Please. Aye, aye. What's this? What is this? <laughs> hey, just Greetings, you. Your Majesty. Greetings. Oh. 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 Yeah. 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 Hey, can you Please sit down. Thank you very much, Your Majesty. You're welcome. Um, the death of the late Igwe is a terrible loss to everyone, all at some, even abroad. We will miss him. We will miss him. Because yes. there will not be anyone like him again. It's okay, Mazi Azubike. That was exactly why I called you. Diwe is dead and gone. But we, the living, must continue. It's okay. Of course. Mazi Azubike, 
You can see that it is one month now since the passing away of His Royal Highness. Of and the date of his burial is still unknown because the governor has not given us any date. So, we suggested that since the throne cannot be left vacant, that you, as the secretary to the elders in council and also a kingmaker, should convene other kingmakers and elders to announce Udeze as the interim Igwe immediately. Hmm. Hmm. Your Majesty, that will be a bit difficult because we will need to convene a meeting. I mean, the elders in council, the chiefs in council, we will need to convene a meeting. And it is in that meeting that we will choose the successor. Convening that meeting is the issue. It's a problem. Master Zubike, there must be a way out. I know that in an emergency situation, the Ono and the head of kingmakers can appoint a temporary person to take over the position of the Iwe in the interim. <laughs> that would be Article 6. You're right. Leave me ask. Why the rush? <sighs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. It's just that um, for the past one month, a lot of issues that needs tackling has been coming up and nobody in that position to handle it. And this community has lost a lot because of that. So, Mazazubike, you have to do something. You really have mm. to do something. Um, you know what? You're, you're, you're saying the truth. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, you found now Morocco here. Then we feel that, and then we okay. Uh, but uh, but um, having said that, hmm. this is two point five million naira. It is for you. Take it. Yes. <laughs> Another 2.5 million awaits you once the task is accomplished. Do you know why I'm giving you this money? Oh. Do you know who wants to announce another person as the heir apparent to the throne? Maybe. Therefore, you must act very fast. In this kingdom. <laughs> it is not done now. Where would you know who announced another person? You can imagine. Instead of my prince. Ah, uh -uh. Your Majesty. Can you find a Eh? Okay. Hey! Odogu. Odogu. Odogu Nesiyama. What do you do? Can you find a challenge? He will do it. You know, is very. He has a longer truth. Look at what more can do. Yes, he's counted as everything. What is Hey. You know, Calistus, it is at home the Buttocks who come to meet the stool. An elder does not sit at home and watch the good deliver in tetas. Who know? The, the death of the late Igwe does not mean that uh, the world should stand still. We need to move on. We really need to move on. Go straight to your point, Azubike. Actually, what I'm saying is that we need to have a meeting and uh, get an, 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 an interim Igwe. Even if it's on an interim basis. But we need to have a meeting so that we can have somebody to move the affairs of the community. But you know the rules. You know the rules. Uh, that is Article 6. 
Mm -hmm. Let's invoke Article 6 so that you and I will declare or announce an interim Igwe. We don't have to wait for the governor to come and bury the Igwe before we move the affairs of the community. We need to move on. We need to move on. Things are at a standstill. We need to move on. Azubike, how much did Lolo and Asano Dense pay you for this, your act? How much? Let me inform you. They also came to me. Of course, they offered me huge money. But I rejected it. Jehovah! Who know who Callistus? You rejected money? <laughs> With this so dilapidated house? Your rickety jalopy? Your pittance of, of pension? You rejected money? Who know who can't you pity yourself? You know, is this your holier than thou attitude? This is your, uh, I'm, I'm too holy. That is what made you retire as a civil servant. A poor, wretched man. Oh, no, you can't you pity your, 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 yourself. Let me even remind you that were it not for your elder brother, you would not have been able to train your children in the university, including uh, Azuka, your daughter. Can't you have mercy on yourself? Anyway, uh, me, me, I collected the money. Yes, because at, at, at the end of the day, it's still this day that will be crowned king. And how sure are you about that? How sure? Let me inform you. Digwe has another son who will take over from him when the time comes. As a matter of fact, Azubike, Igwe told me not to allow Dez to succeed him. Many people were there when Igwe warned me to ensure that Udeze doesn't succeed him. And I will abide by that. I won't change my mind. So you better return the money they gave you. And you know how brutal Udeze can be if you fail to deliver. Good day. What exactly is his result? Eh? How? Did you not explain to him? Oh, you, you, you should have put up a, an argument with him now. Okay, Meligi. Eh? Meligi now. He won't win you. Listen, oh, listen. You have to end this money. If you do not, I will not be happy. I won't be happy with you. What's this? And then I won't be happy. I'll get back to you. Oh, this, this, this one who got this first. Stubbornness is getting on my nerves. So I don't like when I keep my eyes on the cord. Chasing what I am chasing, and someone is being a stumbling block. When I woke me when they looked where I got here. What did Mazazbike say? Mazazbike said he refused. He refused. Even when he invoked uh, Article 6, he still refused. He refused to see reasons with him. Who does that? But Mazazbike should try harder. At least he should try and know how to convince other elders in council so that they will be on our side. Well, I need to end up. We don't even need all those elders. Come on, push. Well, well, well. We don't need them. Ah. 
and it's my way. My own way. I may be Django. As you did, sir. Is it Django? I am Nina Dambina. Dada Damba. So where are we going to start? We have to leave the market space. We can get to the town hall. Then we'll start to Azu kai Ada Azu kada bi no Azu ka
devil face to face. Like a James Bond. I'm riding on a devil. This is a jungle. Yeah, we had a green and a lot of blood. Time to hear from your father. Your husband. No. Let us know how much he loves the family. Hmm? If he does not comply with my request, I will kill both of you and speed and peace on your grave. Prince of the Yama Kingdom. Hey, it is in Don't shout. Don't shout. Uh, I know you met your home, don't you? Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Loneliness is not good for other men like you. Hmm? Anyways, hold on. Hold on. Somebody wants to give you a message. Alright? Yeah, I like on both of them. My friend, don't waste my time. I'm giving you my phone. Are you not happy? Daddy. Azuka. Azuka. Daddy. Mommy and I were kidnapped today on our way. <laughs> both of you and spit, spit and piss on your bodies. You were given three days and it has expired. What? Hello? Hello? What, what did you say? Eh? Eh? Comply with me. Don't play with me. My job. Shut up!
I'm 
need and I don't have my friend. And you said I should come here. But you give it to me. Please, can I have oh, it? Of, of course, you, you will have your ticket. But you need to go inside there. We'll take it inside. Yes. You'll get from me. Yes. Eat and rest. Then I'll take you straight to the airport. Yes. Okay? Let's go. <laughs> We have to hurry up. I don't want to miss my flight. No, you won't miss your flight. Are you sure? No, 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 Mom, you're awake already. You're already awake. But I've not eaten it. I'm getting it. No, don't worry, you will get your flight ticket. But you need to eat first. Eh? I'm going to take you to the airport. You know that I'm finding out if you do it or not. So I can come up with you. Okay? What are you talking about? You need to move the place to the airport. What are you talking about? What are we doing here? 
Why are we here? Francis. Okay. Of course I'm alright. I'm okay. What is going on here? Are you, are, are you okay? Francis, I'm fine. Do I know? Would you? Okay. Would you? Go, 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 go. Go. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go. Thank you. Francis. What are we doing here? How we? Hold on. Is this not your father's old house? It's Godfather's house, yes. What is going on? What are we doing here? How did how did you get here? Would you? What is going on? Francis. Yes, this is His Royal Highness, Igwe Deze Gandhi, King Godiwodi of his Yama Kingdom. What's that name, baby? Udeze. I'll do whatever you just want me to do in order to have my wife and daughter back without anything happening to them. Good. Good. So I'm talking to you, I'm dressed in my full regalia. So, come to the palace for the declaration. I must have my family back before I do anything. Understood? That's not a problem. It's not a problem. Deal. Old fool. He has finally bought sense. <laughs> I told you I have my game intact. Mom, how do I look as the successor himself? You look like the successor, original one, successor of Iwe. Francis more than Ben Kembo. <laughs> so, can I fag a chicken? Can the Gwen fag an hour? King Dewoody Nganguan Ganti of his Yama Kingdom. Hi, Telepo King Dewoody Nganguan Ganti.
The sun will shine, the rain will fall. We will do what we have to do. Mili dollar nudge, dollar one kita. Can't get no man, I My prince, my prince, the eagle in wait. I greet you. Hey man, any booze on the bay? We forget that they are bullying him now. Eh, man, the lady, the lady, the fair man, the one. One. Thank God, man. Thank God. So, ah, what next? Ah, maybe, maybe. Hey, my prince. Hmm. Come in, come, come. Where am I going to sit? You will sit here first. You will sit here. Okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You will sit here. Okay. And um, when we have calmed you, you now move over to this side. Okay. Yes. Everything will be perfect. Your Majesty. <laughs> yes. I'm here for you, you know. It is well with you. Yes. If I can't do it. Before anything happens here, I want to say. Who knows who greets us? Who greets the Lord? Two observations. What is going on here? Kedifa and Emeba. Huh? Kedifa and Emeba. Well, uh, for the declaration of uh, uh, President yeah, Des, as uh, uh, apparent uh -huh. to this crowd, to the uh, throne. Oh, no. And then, because um, they are on renovations inside, because mm -hmm. now there will be world press. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so okay. They will come. <laughs> yes. And then, uh, let us stay here and do, do, and do it. My prince. Uh? <laughs> <laughs> Any other thing? Nkozobo. I want to see my family now. It's okay. Uh, raise up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. <laughs> so we will do it. Definitely. Yes, today that will be good. Uh, of course. We want you Oh no, bring them in. We don't have time. These are your hey, hey, hey. No, we don't interrupt us. Don't begin to we don't want all those your emotional drama. Well, we have seen you, you have seen your children, your child. Your daughter, rather, and your, in fact, your family. You can go, 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 go. Oh no, come back. Come back here, come back. Crown Prince is talking. Sit down. Oh no, he's Prince today, but that is talking. Uh, sit yeah. down. So, uh, what next? What next? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, what next? Uh, we will proceed. Mm. Yes. Um, I now will have to declare, and I hereby declare that when the Igwe dies and joins his ancestors, another Igwe will replace him. Exactly. And that is why we are here. So I am drawing from Article 6 of our community's con constitution and tradition to declare that today Udeze, Francis, Mordebe, Junior, is now the heir apparent to the throne of Asia Kingdom. <laughs> you know, do the needful. You know who will do the needful? Then I'll do the declaration, <laughs> which I'm going to do immediately. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
the throne of Ezema cannot be left vacant. Exactly. Because the Igwe is dead. Another Igwe must succeed. Yes. Exactly. And because of that, that is why we are gathered here. You know who is here, and I am here. So we will invoke at least to ensure that they are here and sit there. So that the development of this community will move forward. Yes, and the way it is. Oh no, we want to have So I, I can remove this one. Yes, oh, of course. Um, <laughs> I'll make you put this one. Hey! Yeah. Uh uh. 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 Uh my friend, that's fire, that's fire coming, coming from fucking hey, 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 what is going on? I do Hey, what is going on? What is going on? I do What is going on? I don't know. I do I don't know. I do I my son. No. No. Doris, you are supposed to be mad. You are supposed to be roaming the streets. You don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. I'm here for the will of the people and Igwemo Debe to be done. When you take from a child what belongs to him, and raise your hand in the air away from him. When you get tired, you will bring your hand down and that child will take back what belongs to him. No. No. You are mad. Yeah. <laughs> I made you mad. Yes. I made you mad. <laughs> because Igwe wants to marry you and bring you to this palace. Yes, I made you mad. <laughs> I made you mad. Yes. Udeze, my son. Killed you, Igwe. I know. I know. Yes. 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 I made you mad. I made you mad so that Igwe will not achieve his aim of marrying you. Yes. Yes! Mad. Yes! Udeze killed you. <laughs> Udeze killed his royal highness. Huh? Yes, I know. I am the law. <laughs> I am the law. I will tell the whole community that you are mad. Yes, you are mad. You are. Hey, you are mad. No, no, you are no, mad. No, 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 She's mad. She's mad. She's mad. I'm off. I'm off. Yes, she's mad. I made her mad. Ndiala, Ndiala. Give me my balance now. Madness, madness. You wish, you wish, you wish. Ah, put your leg, put your leg. You are mad. 
You are mad on your own. You are mad on your own. Hey, 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 hey,
it's just like a dream to me from being a palace maiden to becoming a palace queen I don't know what to say you don't have to say anything just say yes just say yes Ibo mama, yeah. Ibo mama, yeah. mama, yeah. No zone, yeah. No. Um, the throne of Ezema cannot remain vacant. As the late Igwe departs to the realms of the spirits to join his ancestors, another replaces him. As we all know, it is at home that the Butox come to meet the stew. The scrotum must sit before the Butox. Because of that, we are invoking Article 6 to confer and declare the heir apparent to the throne of Eziama land. Uno Eucalistus, I call on you to do the needful. Agumba, Dalogina, Rodogo Cave. Aya. Is there a mechanic moon? Yeah. Is there a moon? Yeah. Zon. Yeah. Or one could mean a nice day. Even none, my I can Wow. Even none, I make me. Hmm. Hmm.
Wesleyan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah.